Okay, first of all, all right. Blame these buffoons for not getting me the intro before now. All right. Why were you laughing? Second of all, <laughs> second of all, why were you? Why laughing? was Wolf in the intro for 0.5 seconds? You hating, bro? He's literally he has 0.5. You hating? It looked like you hating. I gave I gave him nah, screen time. Up, Hello? Right? You over here oh. hating on me? <laughs> what the fuck? It seems kind of personal to be honest. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Rogers Base here with the special post E3 Super Smash Brothers Ultimate themed episode of Japan Time. This one is going to be a good one. We know you've been waiting weeks to hear our thoughts on Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. We have a full cast today. Of course, we've got Shofu. Uh -huh. We've got Coast. <laughs> we've got Mike. Gamers. Where's Mike? I just introduced oh, Mike and now he's not here. Hi. Oh, there he is. We got Zeph. Hi. We have Warchamp7. Hello. We've got Virum. Good evening. And we've got three special guests with us right now. We've got wait, Mr. Duncan Knee Deep. <laughs> What's good? We've uh, got Ultra Nick 24. What's going on? Please don't speak and to Derek we... like that. Huh? McDareth isn't in the call right now. Uh, hello. He's right here. Yeah. He's, he's show food. Food. He's show food. He's been in my house for the last three months. Wait a minute. Well, wait a minute. You got Oh, my God. We got to do the introduction again now. No, we don't. All oh, right. No, he's no, he too, but he's not in the call. He's on Shofu's call or whatever because he's staying with Shofu. Okay. So there you are, McDareth. Hello. And we also have Tito joining Hello. us this week. Hello. All right. So we've got a completely full cast. There is a lot of stuff to talk about. I'm going to say right at the very beginning of the show, no viewer question this week. There is just too much stuff to go over. Roger hates the viewers. That's sad. I don't hate there. the viewers. It's just I know there's going to be a lot of I viewer questions. I, think I, I don't hate the viewers. Oh, my goodness. Roger Super Smash Brothers Ultimate got announced at E3 2018. It's going to be released on December 7th, 2018. There are 66 fighters that got confirmed during E3, including a new fighter, Ridley, and an Echo Fighter, Daisy. Everybody from every previous Super Smash Brothers game is back, including Snake, including Wolf, I told including all of Pichu, you. including I told Young you. Link, all you haters in the Pokemon chat, trainer. I told you. I told Everyone. every single last one of you he was coming back. And look at the screen. You, know you see cool? him right there next to Link on the bottom left. Man, I told you. I told you all of you he was coming back. You all man. doubted me. Take, I told you. Hey, shout out to the you. people who were pushing the free wolf you move. All. Man, we're get, we're we're taking him to the top, boys. We're getting there. I told w. all of you. All right. I hope he's the worst character in the game. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> so all right, first more uh, more unexpected than really. First impressions, though, real quick before we get into everything, because there's a lot of stuff to talk about. Invitational and the demo and all the different characters. Just I want to hear your first impressions of the game. Your first reactions. What did you guys think when this got announced? It's a port. I swear to God, if you pull that Infernal that Omni garbage yeah. on me, I will block you off this call. It's I promise point. you. Do not do it. I watched his live reaction because I was very interested to see what Omni was going to say. And literally, when he made that it's a port joke, and then right afterwards in the comment was like, oh, that was a joke. No, it wasn't. Go back and watch that. That was not a joke. Omni, you're my friend, dude, but I got to call you out on that. That was, uh, that was horrendous. So it is a brand new game with a lot of assets from Smash 4, but it is not a direct port. Of it's Smash 4. Let's get that out of the way right now. Use assets. I don't see why they wouldn't use assets from Smash 4. The Smash 4 assets are nice. People right. can talk all day about the mechanics, but the assets looked good. They, they <laughs> look they've good. done this for every Smash game. They've reused stuff from past Smash games, yeah, except for Smash 4, obviously. I've talked about this on past episodes, too. This is the first time where they can actually like reuse the assets like for that yeah. kind of stuff. Because right. this is the first time they're going from HD game to HD like, game. Do you guys want Sakurai to... He, he literally made all these characters... Then said three months later, all right, it's time to reanimate every single one of them. I mean, but you he have you also remodeled the Ganondorf in this game? You can't do that with a port. That's the crazy the... thing with this game is like every single character is reanimated. Yeah, McDermott yeah. pointed it out on Twitter saying like he said every character's jump is different. And I didn't notice it until he said it. Yeah, yeah. But every character is different. <laughs> yeah. Even a bunch of their idle animations are different. Like it just looks so much different better. in subtle ways. And it's like, a bunch of the characters have been remodeled. Yeah, like Zelda. Oh yeah, she looks amazing. Ganondorf, he looks amazing. Link, 
Oh, like Zelda it. getting a lot of love here. <laughs> they made a lot of a subtle lot of changes, changes too, like with Mario even. He looks better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? I thought it was worth noting that, like, Sakurai straight out said, hey, look, like, the compromise I'll make with you is that everybody's in, but I'm not, you better not be expecting us to put, like, 12 people in the game now, which, which yeah. I think is, is, at this point, I am totally fine with that. I don't that. need anything else, bro. No, no, absolutely. Like, yeah. I'm good. Like, mm-hmm. I'm straight. I'm expecting well, I mean, a bunch though... of uh, uh, Echo Fighters to make up for it. Almost, Definitely. Because yeah. they Definitely. take no effort. Even though he said that, though, like, if you look at the the announcement trailer, there were two spaces. So there are at least two more coming. I think there are just two more coming for the release. You I think there's only two, two more, more like, new fighters? Yeah, I, I think we'll get two more new fighters, and that'll be it for release. I don't I see agree. any more than two more. If, I agree with you if you aren't counting Echo Fighters is like, said brand new. for release, new. though. For release is fine. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah but yeah, even yeah. for release, because we talked about this a little bit on Twitter, uh, is I really don't think they're going to end up doing a lot of DLC Echo Fighters, except for Octoling. I feel like Splatoon is huge right now. They obviously have the Octoling expansion, and I think people would pay money to have an Octoling Echo character, but there's very few other Echo characters I think they can get away with doing that with, um, unless it's like a third party like Shadow or Ken or something like that. God, I don't um, it, it'd be cool to have Shadow in there, but it'd just be another Sonic, and I don't want two of those stupid goddamn I, I, characters in there. Well, oh, to be I fair, I mean, Knuckles a... assist tro- is an assist trophy now. Shadow's no longer an assist trophy. Neither is Dark Samus. Well, Dark Samus and Knuckles that, are both... Though. We do know that. I, I saw it in the demo. Knuckles is in there. Shadow I'm is sure not. they don't have all the assist trophies. They said that there's over 100 now. Yeah, so like, it definitely was not a. Oh uh, well, maybe, maybe at the okay. at E3. No way. Oh, yeah. what if they're bringing back assist trophies that were cut out from previous games? I like, exactly. What, what if it means by like everyone is here it means like even assist trophies? No, I mean that would be cool. Be no, cool. it doesn't. I'm assuming Gray Fox is probably so gonna be is, one again. Uh, Tars are going back to being a Pokeball Pokemon then. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna have him as a Pokeball 100%. Pokemon. They're gonna have him as a Saffron City Hazard, and he's gonna be playable. Yeah, he's going to be a solo character, and he's going to be in the Pokemon training. Oh, man, there's just so much to go over here, I guess, in terms of, like, stages and characters and music even. Like, one thing that not a lot of people were talking about was the music. The website posted a bunch of new tracks from the game that sound incredible. There's a Brinstar Depths remix that is just, wow, so yeah, that's good. that's my favorite one. Yeah, I love really the, uh, the Vega remix. Yeah, Vega yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, it's got the Kingdom Hearts vibe to it. Yeah, it's because so it was the, uh, composed by Shimamura, that's why. The rest of our depths one is just perfect. Yeah, it's so... They had a Donkey Kong... Uh, it was the Donkey Kong bonus room that they remixed, and that sounded pretty nice. Well, I think before we talk about stages or anything like that, just for this first episode post-reveal, I think we should focus on characters. Because yeah. there are a lot of characters in this game. There's 66 fighters that have already been confirmed. Um, and I think let's focus for this episode on the characters that were in the demo. So who of us actually played the demo? Me, it was me, yeah. Shoku, yeah. and Viram. And then the entire more people E3 have played it than have one. Yeah. Everyone that's not Canadian. More. Okay, so all of us that were at E3. Okay, yeah. so what I was thinking is we could do the same thing that we did during E3 the last time with Smash 4, which is go character by character and talk about what things they've changed and if we like this new iteration of the character. So we're just going to go through all the characters in the demo, just the demo, starting with Mario. I didn't play uh, Mario. He seems pretty much the same. He seems I, I played him a couple of times. He seems pretty much the same. Um I think he benefits the way every other character benefits from the sort of faster jumps. Because I think someone told me that every character has a three-frame squat jump now. Yeah. Yep. Like He's different, so though. He, he does... can't, I mean, the game itself is different. He can't combo as well from what I've seen, at least. Yeah. His his up tilt doesn't combo the same way because you can actually directional air dodge out and stuff like that. But he seems he seems cool. He seems regular. Like, Mario's the basic character, isn't he? He's, like, the of beginner's course. character in Smash. They changed a lot of his so animations, though. They look pretty nice. I love them all. Yeah, his yeah, side looks great. His side me. is awesome, too. His down smash is the best-looking move, probably. Isn't that, like, the and DDR his, thing? Yeah, his, his, yeah. It's, it's more like a breakdance instead of just... A leg sweep. His legs. Yeah. yeah. Would, would I just, I just love it? how, uh, even for a character like Mario, who a lot of his core animations haven't really changed thematically at all since, like... 64 if not melee to see them feel so refreshed is yeah really really cool like yeah would you would you guys prefer have had the uh 
Because I because I know there was a lot of talk with us beforehand about how they really wanted us to they we really wanted them to incorporate a lot of stuff from Odyssey in the game like have a move. I would have liked to see Cappy. I would have liked to see Cappy instead of just having it be on the up B. Um, but at the same time, you Mario like like Duncan said, Mario is the pick up and play character. Yeah, right. That's Anybody, why I didn't think like, it should happen. Yeah. So so how do how do we like now that you guys have played it? Are you guys glad that he's basically the same with? Just, that he just looks way better, or would you rather have? I wish they'd new... have ditched Flood. I wish they'd have ditched Flood for something with Cappy. But other than that, I'm happy. I uh, thought for some reason they did ditch Flood. I thought no, it's back to his old uh, melee down B. No, the tornado. That's, down. that's okay. That's still Doctor Mario. On, Roger. Yeah. I honestly did. I thought on, there was bro. footage. I guess not, but that's great. Um... No, I love oh, his costumes though too. We haven't even talked yeah. about his costumes. He got the wedding costume, Mario the builder costume, costume. Best costume. I was oh, just so about good. to mention that they look crisp. And I think the great thing about those costumes is it sets up the potential for downloadable costumes, yeah. full-on downloadable yeah, yeah, costumes yeah. later oh, on in the future. We're definitely mm -hmm. getting paid DLC costumes. We are definitely getting paid DLC Which costumes. That's just money. money. I mean, I'm excited that for is... that too. I know I'll I'll be a sucker. I'm gonna buy a bunch of them. Oh, yeah, I'll buy every single one of them. Yeah, I know I will. Point: Sakurai is not about the money. But Nintendo are. Yeah, exactly. Right. Nintendo is about the money. That's what I said. Sakurai still runs this show. I think they did that just because we've been asking for it, though. We don't want to yeah, play Sakurai... Mario in eight different colors. We want to play an actual Mario that looks completely different. Sakurai said... I feel like this game is just you. his gift to us, bro. He listened to us on so many things. Yeah. yeah. Well, he said that. Things. Yeah, yeah. Directional air dodge, bringing back all the characters, bringing back even Saffron City. I, that was I, incredible. I, I think this is going to be, like, this was the first, the craziest thing is the stuff that you guys played is the first build ever, they said. So That's crazy. I, I, I'm pretty sure that the game won't even, it, it, it's going to be drastically different come December. Yeah, that's why I'm taking, like, all of the technical things, like, that are, are involved with the competitive play with a grain of salt, because I'm pretty sure a lot of it's just going to be changed. Yeah, and plus they were they like... were open to feedback again. Yeah, well, one thing that's definitely going to get changed after the Invitational is Bayonetta, because having been there at the Invitational and seeing Sakurai's face as he was standing off stage as the crowd was booing Leo, there's no way he doesn't nerf Bayonetta even more after this. He was shaking his head, right? Yeah, he was. He was. He turned to his translator and was like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> <laughs> but, but, I, but I think a lot of the, the the problem with Bay not the problem with Bayonetta, but it's not. It's not the data or the frame data or how fast moves. Those things obviously are a problem, but it's her actual kit. The thing she's allowed to do is what makes the character a problem. Didn't she still have and, her like triple jump glitch or something? She had and, four like, jumps. Yep. She had four jumps. Yeah. So it's like Ew. the character the character that character seems like one of those characters in a lot of other games where it's like their kit is so good that if you make it even mediocre or like it's gonna be awful, or the second you make it good, it's gonna be broken. Like mm, that character just think... so hard to balance. I think like, Sakura could do it. Oh no! I, I'm sure you could do it. Just seems really hard. I feel it would like be make her any worse. She'll be just completely dick. Yeah. There's always yeah. there's always characters like that in the in games with a lot of characters. They're like they are either they're, they're either really, really good or they're not good at all. I mean, I didn't play against that many different people, but she didn't seem as busted in this build as she does in Smash. She was nerfed, so no, she's definitely nerfed, yeah. but she's still really good. The problem was it wasn't enough. I guess. Well, we don't even know that though. Yeah, that's, what I mean. that's why I don't. Want to <laughs> we over here talking about nurse and shit. We even even. I don't yeah. talk, we don't even know but anything about this a, game yet. There is a Ganondorf with a three-frame squat jump in this build, whose nair is minus two against shield. I think like. I don't think like I don't think it's gonna benefit him too much. Like it, it all depends on. Based if the on engines. What? No, Ganon felt really good. Ganon was feeling kind of good. Yeah, Ganon, Ganon felt, felt awesome. Talking about all these gonna benefit him too much. Based on what? We you don't guys know this is gonna matter come December. We don't need to talk about stuff like this. We don't. Exactly, we yeah. don't know. This is what the stuff hell we shouldn't talk about. Stuff. Well, an idea I'd like to bring up is like I wish. Well, not wish, but it'd be cool if Sakurai went the like the route that Capcom did and brought like community members in to help. That's like, pretty much what he did. Yeah, and on top of that, Nintendo's done that for every game in the series up to this point. They did that with Brawl. They had people come up to the Treehouse. They had all the preview events for Smash 4. Yeah. So I feel like they're going to yeah. do the same thing with this. I'm expecting many more preview events and a lot of other conventions in which the game will be brought there, maybe an updated demo, and people will be able to try it out for themselves. I would be shocked if there is not an updated demo at Evo. That's mm -hmm. what I'm expecting, an updated demo. You think I think it's going to be updated up. at Evo? 
Yeah, I do. I think it'll be updated at Evo because I think a new character will be when's, announced and playable. When's Evo? Evo is uh, August. August. Okay, so same time as Gamescom. You see, so you think the Evo Gamescom build is going to be? Yes. I think it's going to be different. Yeah, well, I think CEO there's going to be at least one of the character on it. Yes, yeah, yeah. CEO is getting a demo too, which I'm. Su- yeah. I don't know if that'll I'm be the it, E3 build. I'm sure but it's, it's going to be the E3 build, but definitely. But I also the idea of them taking because. August to December is it, it's a good amount of time, but it's a lot less of a time that I think they'd be actually get, handing out builds for people to play. Mm. And I think I think that's really important to know is that they're trying to get as much feedback from people as possible up until where it's absolutely necessary, which which I think is which I think is really really good. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like CEO with how they've done in the past is more not really for feedback, but just to let more people play it to get excited about mm-hmm. it coming out. Mm. Yeah, this I think was where the playtesting is gonna happen because the the invitational and VIP dudes had six hours of playtime, and I'm sure that they gave feedback and they all wrote it down and they went to Sakura. Oh, yeah. well, I mean, people were asking like behind the scenes at the invitational thing, they were asking what we thought. Yeah, yeah. They were asking for it at the press booth as well. Like every yep. person who played, they were like, do you have yeah. feedback? Like, what, what do you think? And then they would ask for like casual feedback and competitive. So like, how do you feel from a casual perspective? How do you feel from competitive? But they were really curious. Absolutely. Yeah. They, I hope, they I hope one of you uh, told them to put Isaac in the game. Just, uh, you know, I would have slid you a 20. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I'll let you down, move away. I actually before let you, you move down. away from, from like this kind of talk, was there, I, I had mixed reports on this. When you jumped after running, did the momentum carry or did you stop? I you don't stop. You don't stop. So it's not like Smash Four and Brawl. I don't think it is. Uh, yeah, I actually you know, don't. I, know. I feel like you kept. If D wanted to double he'd check, me, he'd know. I can send you a bunch of footage that you can use and check yourself if you want, but I, I couldn't tell you. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll check with D one because he was with me on the. That's one of the things you want to change the most. Hmm. Mm. If if Anyone not, we can. Was... Uh, I can verify at CEO. Well, that, yeah, I know yeah. that's like a, like a week away. There you I'll, go. Yeah. I'll be at CEO, and I'm going to be checking that. That's Apparently, Mewtwo King said it didn't stop when you jump when you're running. That's cool. That's great. Yeah, that makes the game feel so much better. The that's game did feel all so the much more is. aggressive aggressive and mobile that's like well i think i think a big reason it felt so much more aggressive too is that in one-on-one attacks do more damage which specifically is to make it like a faster more exciting game adding the slow-mo effects to immediate ko's like what get every time you do a falcon punch or a warlock punch or you do an attack that's a guaranteed ko like it does this awesome dramatic slow-mo thing that looks really cool and it feels like yeah. more like something that would be in like dbz fighters than in smash brothers so i was yeah. really happy to see that at first i thought that was just like a, a sweet spot thing where if you land a sweet spot move that showed up and i like i saw ganon a little too much. hit someone with a fair and i was like oh my god yeah it's just from heavy hits it happened yeah. when uh, it happened when little max super armored attacks too yeah yeah, oh, yeah. Cool. it always happens on the fight on a killing blow on the last stock you know, I saw right. it happen, ah, that's right. Since someone lived yeah. once, the, yeah. uh, yeah, the slow mo. We saw somebody live twice during the Invitational. Yeah. Yeah. So that's like the new like KO thing that they try to put in Smash Four. Hey, no, that's I'm... the that's the new hotness, bro. Slow mo, slow mo, and full caliber. Vera. What up? Are you sure it's always killing blows, or is it, does it just happen that most of the time a killing blow is a heavy hit near blast? It's zone? a killing blow. It's a killing blow because it's different. Like it's was always, it heavy? It's well, no, no, no. So it's a it's, guaranteed it's, killing blow, but it sometimes happens. It's, no, it's not a guaranteed no. killing blow. No, no, no. Okay, it's, it's, it's during it's any, the situation. It's specific moves like Ness's up B, Captain Falcon's Falcon Punch, shit like that. But always on yes. the last dog, if you get a move that could potentially kill, it'll also happen. No matter yeah, what. Okay, okay, if, if okay, you get yeah, a hit that would generate the red lightning. On the last stock, then yeah. uh, this happened. I remember seeing it with Mario's up B at some point. Yeah, that it it'll, happen. Happen. Like, it'll oh. happen on any move that can kill on the last stock. All right, I'm going to be that guy. I want to see that shit. Let's on hear it. Uh, that's bad. What? Why yeah, is that bad? bad? No, it's, 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 it's potentially it could be bad. It's giving it can give people like more time twice to as much time. It can give people, yeah, it's giving like it twice as much time to DI correctly. It could, it could... <laughs> There's a lot of things that could happen because yeah. of that. They, they should adjust it. I think here's the, here's the thing. The lightning doesn't show up on a guaranteed kill. It shows up when it can kill, like if you DI bad or if you don't DI. So anytime the red lightning shows up or that hit shows up means there is a chance that you're not dead and you can DI properly. And because it slows it down for so much extra time, you're being given more 
of yeah, like, but like to you're assuming like what if it actually takes your input, but like when they hit connected, it could. So yeah. it's not like I mean, ideally, time. It, I mean, if it, I mean, if it doesn't work like that, though, I agree with what Duncan that, said, which is that seven. maybe they're going to end up making it. No, no, I, I, <clears throat> ideally, the way to fix that is to make it so that that only happens in situations where even with optimal DI, the person is dead. Zero wants yeah. to join the Japan side. Who? Throw him in, of course. Join throw him in. I'm a, I'm a I don't want him in my scene. <laughs> God damn it. There's going to be so many goddamn people talking now. Oh, oh no. Shit. Uh, I, I have a, for those of you who played it, because obviously i not, but as someone who's looking at the game from a little bit more competitively, the game looks faster, but the question, does it play faster? Yeah. Like, it feels faster. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. faster in general. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So nice. I think the only problem is the hits done. Is it's yeah. like a little too low. Yeah, because that's that's one thing I noticed that people were being able low. to like. I, I was hearing from a bunch of people that the hits done, it, when it zero... doesn't allow for <sighs> combos. No, when zero not... and Leo yeah, were playing, man, like they were living to like two hundred percent, and it was it was just frustrating. So I don't think that's, that's the hits it. done being low. It's like the hit that's acceleration the is higher. So like you hit someone, they rocket away to where they would end, then slow down, and then can come back. So they get yeah. back faster. So you can't really follow it as much. But it's not really hits done being lower. What I felt. Hmm. Yeah, that, that makes more sense. You're right. I wonder if they could tweak that at all. I hope. Yeah, easily. Because I like I like super how easy to tweak. I like how fast the people fly away now. But at first, I hated it. I thought it looked goofy. I but the more I it. watched, the more yeah, I don't notice it anymore. I mean, should we? Uh, be, should... There could be a couple of reasons for that, though. Why that happened? The the hit thing. <clears throat> yeah. I, I saw a comment in my comment section that uh, said that some guy said that he liked that he would get sent far quickly and then he'd be able to come back to the stage or whatever. Uh, he's, getting where he's, he's getting where he's going immediately. He doesn't have to watch himself fly across the screen and shit. Okay. Yeah. Can we talk about full jumps in this game? Because I've seen like nothing online about it. What do you want full to talk about? Sure. What do you, what do you want, want to know? Yeah. No, like full jumps in this game work the way the knockback does. You just like go to like the full height of your jump instantly yeah. and then slow down. That's why, like, I, when I mentioned the footstool thing with heavies, I was like, where Super knows on like Bowser. Bowser jumps and just like rockets up to his full height. Yeah, you just like, if you do it, like, because they're trying to make short hops easier. So, like, if you end up doing a full jump, you literally just rocket to full jump height. It's like a super jump from a, like it's, a Marvel fighter. Yeah, it's weird, and I feel like no one's talked about it. How does, like, that feel when you're playing? I feel like you. it's weird at first, but I feel like you get used to it. But like, I feel like that could be a little problem for, like, trying to mix up people. Speak Like, m mixing up people is going to be a whole different topic, but just how you shoot up like that, I don't think you can, like... Um, deceive people into thinking you're gonna do a short hop or a full hop mm. you know what i mean like it, it's it's either you're dedicating yourself to that full hop or you automatically just put out the short hop. Zero in here now. i'm gonna give him the roll yeah throw him in. okay throw him in yeah uh, oh there you go. yeah i gave him the roll let me add him now you can just hop and drag him drag him in oh yeah uh, it doesn't matter easier the thing that messed me up a little bit um the way i did short hop like back air, or short hop, up air in uh, Smash Four. Does it does it take like the the inputs at the same time? Yeah, it takes them at the same time. So right. you know, I, I would slide my finger from jump to attack to do a back air, a short hop back air. But when I tried to do full hop back air, I would do um, Just I would short do a short hop back air because I'm used to holding the jump button and the A button at the same time. Ah. Uh. So maybe because the I was pressing them like, at the same time, wrong. they um, I would just do a short hop backer because that's what they changed. Well, that I'm almost certain will be configurable because I'm almost certain no, they'll let you play with your that's controls. That's just a change. I like I like that. I just yeah. have to get used yeah. to it because uh, I'm pretty sure they did like you. Whenever I would try to jump cancel up smash, for example, I would up air. So I'm pretty sure they just changed yeah. how that works in general. Mm. Every time I tried to jump cancel up smash, I would up air. Um, so this time I don't really need to, to slide my fingers. I can just press them both at the same mm -hmm. time. I, it's just a change. I, I, I think it's a positive change that I'll just get used to in time. I also okay. like the, how they re-added directional air dodges. I hope that gets fixed a little bit because it, it's a little awkward from the stuff I saw. How did you guys feel about it when you played it? <laughs> I mean, I wasn't used to it, so I kept dying off stage. I think that was uh, the yeah. coolest part. Yeah. I did the same yeah. thing with Ridley. It has yeah. a ton of area and like... 
I wanted I wanted to make wave hey, landing like a viable thing. Hey Zero. Welcome hey. Zero. Welcome. Zero. We're just talking. Oh. We literally just started talking about the demo and the characters in the demo. Uh -huh. Only people we've really gone over so far are Mario and Bayonetta. So if you have any thoughts on those two characters, okay, let us know. Um. All right. So Mario. Well, first of all, how's it going, everyone? I'm Zero. Uh, you guys, you just probably. Every, know. We know who you are, Zero. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the man. Well, I'm, needs no I'm talking to the stream. I'm talking to the stream. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, You're yeah. talking to the. Chat. Wait, can we curse here? Can we curse? Zero, talk to Fuck him. Fuck yeah. yeah. Wait, can, can we curse? curse? Can we curse? Yeah. Of course. yeah, you can curse. Go ahead. Yeah. Fuck you know, I'm no. talking to the audience. They can You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right. Anyway. Um. All right. So first of all, Mario. What I'm. Right, this is what I'm gonna say. Mar Mario. Very basic. He's pretty good. I must say. I must say he's. Worst case, like probably high tier in that in that demo. Worst case, um, I wouldn't call him top tier because he's one of those characters I feel like are good because we don't know how to play the game, uh, and like that's why I picked him because I knew nobody knows what the fuck they're doing. I know this character is just good at using that, <laughs> so that's why I picked him. And see, the beautiful thing about that is that um, Mario was just like like he was really good at the beginning, but then he's gonna get figured out eventually. Like like nobody because here's, here's the cool thing: Ramen picked uh, Cloud, but he died early. So then that's not the question. And then uh, Lucky picked Mars, and he also died early. So my, my biggest issues with Mario were those two characters, but then they both lost early. So then I have to play people who have to, like, fight with me. That's all I wanted. And then Bayonetta's broken. <laughs> 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 uh, I, I think she's by far the best in, in, in that demo. Well, okay, not by far, but, like, at, at least from what I play, she just seemed like like the, like the better character in that demo. Um, like, you know, like, I, think, I felt like the eye and... and I feel like the AI was inconsistent in that demo. This could be a reason because of like uh like the, like the game not being fully out. Because uh, I remember when I played uh, 2014 Invitational, uh, the AI was really inconsistent as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. So like uh, I feel like maybe Bayonetta combos were a little better because of that, but I can't tell. You know, it's impossible for me to tell. Uh, but what I remember is that I will get hit by like a Bayo combo, and sometimes I will die even though I'm like mashing down, and sometimes I will take 50 damage. Or sometimes I literally get hit by like five percent and I get, and I drop out. You know, it's really inconsistent. Um, but maybe like, that so, was one of the maybe that was one of the bugs Sakurai was talking about that he noticed during the invitational that he wants to fix. <laughs> oh hell no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so yeah, I, I thought Bay was like really good. Bay is basically the same thing. It's just that she can camp less, but like people die when they get edge guardian, and she's the best at edge guardian. So she just gets free kills. Like once you're off the level, you just get free kills. Yo, Zero, your mic's, like, fucked up or something, and Zeph says you can fix it if you refresh Discord. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's doing when, you, when you get back, though, I want to hear uh, your input on uh, running momentum being good. Oh, he well. just left. Left. Is it better now? <laughs> yeah, you're good, you're so, good. Uh, maybe. All right, cool. Yeah, I think so, so Warchamp, go ahead. What were you saying? Uh, we were having a talk about uh, run momentum being conserved when you jump. Is it in this or not? Dash momentum, like how? Like so, so the thing that makes melee feel really good when you go airborne is that when you're running and you jump, a lot of your run momentum gets conserved, and that got like. Well, that's better. Way better. Way better. Way better. Sick. All right, sick. That's like my biggest worry about the game. Yeah, they act I mean, just just weird. just watch my footage of me playing Ike. I'm literally flying around the, around the place. All right, cool. I heard Ike was busted, but we should Ike save is that. Clean, for the... yeah, not Ike, busted. Ike was he's good. not busted. What, what... He's not busted. He's just he's just not looked here. Right on. Right, we'll, we'll start. We'll go back in order. We kind of went out of order with Bayonetta and Mario, but like, let's go back in the order of the demo. Donkey Kong. What has changed with Donkey Kong? Do you like the changes? Go. I don't really care for heavies. I don't really care for heavies, and uh, uh, for the most part, so I didn't try them too much. But I heard from Falls that Donkey Kong still has Ding Dong, <laughs> or like at least has some kind of degree of like a uh, grab combo that's really powerful. Um, and other than that, uh, he's moves. He's a little better at fighting, so he's slightly faster. Um, and Bowser, he is broken dash dance. Uh, like, she's really fast at dashing. So, me, me thinks, right, that uh, DK is going to stay as a grappler, perhaps. And then Bowser's going to be, like, this mix of, like, this uh, heavy hitter, heavy character that's fast, but, like, doesn't really have too many combos. Because when I was playing Naro, that character is all neutral, you know? Yeah, oh, he's, his, because he's so heavy. His throw combo yeah. wasn't uh, anywhere near as potent, either. Yeah. His up throw up there or whatever. Mm -hmm. Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong his, uh, I mean, not speaking gameplay, but his, his animations are all completely different. He seems to be like the he most changed character better. as far as animations go, from what I've seen. Well, he's like a DDD Which... now, basically. He has all these weird facial animations. He has even <laughs> no, like new idol animation. Awesome. Everything is They're brand awesome. new. A lot of the, like, oh, he looks great. Mm -hmm. A lot of the characters. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I find that I really, really interesting mean. that they, like, completely reanimated Donkey Kong when they had 
already completely reanimated him in Smash 4. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they put yeah. a huge emphasis on it. I remember the pick of the day, where they were talking yeah, about yeah, DK's yeah. face. Yeah. And, like, you've got cool stuff like uh, his, his neutral special, the, the giant punch, how it, like, revs up faster as it's closer to full charge. And cargo throwers on with one arm, and it looks. It references the original Donkey Kong game closer. Right, right, where he throws Pauline over his shoulder, and now it does that with every character he carries, yeah. which is really yeah, it looks weird, but yeah. it's, it's cool. It's cool. And then I, guess, I, I just like the look of his fur too. Oh I think my. his fur looks kind of neat. And oh my god, like I know we're not going to talk about stages. <laughs> we're not going to talk about stages, but I got to talk about this. <laughs> oh my god, dude, the Congo Jungle stage that came back from Melee is one of the most beautiful stages I've that ever seen in Smash Brothers. Now, it's <laughs> going to get banned, but that's fine. Well, it, won't be, it won't be banned necessarily if you get rid of uh, stage hazards. No, if you turn off stage hazards, it might nah, be all right. The barrel, so the barrel counts as a stage hazard. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. The, yeah, the problem is the, other, the stupid rock but uh, like at the bottom right. Yeah, yeah if there was the no rock, rock there. Circle. Dang. Oh my god. I, I just had to bring that up while we were talking about Donkey Kong because that stage is one of my favorite. And we even did that episode talking about melee stages we wanted to see come back. And I just felt like that stage in particular really stood out to me as a graphical showcase. I haven't so. we seen Fountain of Dreams? Yes, I'm waiting for Fountain of Dreams, bro. Yeah, oh, I'm sure it's coming. At this have, point, I feel like it's coming. We've seen Venom, but we haven't seen Fountain of Dreams. Who the fuck wanted Venom? We saw Venom? Back? What? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think the Venom. website had it. It, it was on the website. Oh the my goodness. I was either yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll fuck you up in Venom. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, find, I'll find some lame ass combo. <laughs> oh, part of the reason, just, just a quick addition to the stage thing, part of the reason why the stages, well, I guess everything looks really good now is because they, uh, the lighting engine of this game is a lot more dynamic than it was in Smash 4. So yeah. when, when characters and the like are under things that would cast a shadow, you know, they actually experience the shadow itself. Smash mm -hmm. 4 it was kind of like, it was all kind of in a vacuum. It still looks really mm -hmm. good, but you really notice the difference on stages like uh, the Princess Peach's castle. When you're on the right side, the characters are cast under the shadow. Uh, Great Cave Offensive in the previews so... there. I think every, literally every stage that came back, even like Saffron City, I feel looks really good. The only thing I'm like a little confused by is why they kept the pixel Pokemon coming out of the doorway. That, that shit kills me. I, yeah. I, it's like I, so I, that's weird. great, dude. No, I love that. It kills me, that's bro. Clean. With the Charmander, with the that's Charmander all, that's came authentic, out. That's authentic, man. <laughs> that's authentic. Have you seen the list of stages that came back, Roger? Like, I mean, it's pretty much everything. Should... It's like yeah. 83 plus yeah. stages. We have yeah, like, like so Super far. Mario Bros. 2 coming back. That's one of my favorite stages. Yeah. Pirate Sphere is probably not going to come back. If Hot stages take. Are getting cut. <laughs> I don't like the Splatoon stage. Neither do I. Bro, I, think, oh, I mean, competitive like little no, stages not good. Stage is awful. <laughs> I think we'll get more than one Splatoon stage. Hopefully, because that stays like when you're running, it forces you to go down. Yeah, that's like, what I can't <laughs> that I, th I think we'll get two. We yeah. might get two, but I also feel like if they're going to do another Splatoon stage, they might save it for DLC and have like Octoling as an echo yeah. and then have you like bundle the new stage with them. Um, that goes against Sakurai's philosophy, though. He doesn't like, he talked about during Wii U development that he doesn't like to create content with the plan of releasing it after the game is out. Like if he if they're gonna do something, he wants it to be in the game when it comes out. Well, like I don't, I don't, maybe maybe Nintendo's just like fuck your feelings, do it our way. Yeah, I mean, I think ultimately want Nintendo wants money, right? And so yeah. they're gonna like if they tell him, oh, make more DLC characters, I'm sure he's gonna be like, okay, I'll make more. And I do think there are other characters too that are new characters that I don't necessarily think would fit the base roster. Like I I think for example like Springman and Rex and Pyra. I would be shocked if this game gets oh. to DLC's end and those two characters aren't in it. But ultimately, I, I think, think like, those are being planned Spring Man as slash DLC. Goal, I think Springman slash Ribbon Girl will be in the release game. I think that's one you of You think it's in the release DLC. game? I actually really? think, oh, I think it's one of those games. Yeah. I think they won't get in at all. That's I, Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think they're going to get in. I legitimately don't think that they're going to be in this game. Why not? I don't know. So I just have a feeling that they just won't. But why? I'm a dead game. I feel I like Sakurai has ideas for characters that he thinks would please more fans than those characters. Yeah, pretty much. What, the, what well, are y'all yeah, basing well. these things on? Well, based on what? Think of all the other characters that could be added, and then you have Springman. Yeah, but like ARMS is a new Nintendo IP. You don't think they're going to try to sell their own well. games in their own game? No, I don't. No, I don't think they're going to be in the game. All right. Why would they not put a new <laughs> character in it from a new IP in a game that sold well and a game that could sell well, more we'll copies of that December set 7. game? 
Well, we, I, I don't think, think we'll see December seventh though, because I, I truly be, believe they will not be like in the He's not going to be in the game for no, literally no reason. You're not see, I'm gonna put it this way. I have a very reasonable objection to what you're saying. I'm right? I was they're, all they're I'm put, for, bro. They're not going to put Mithra and Pyram in in in, in, in Smash uh, Smash Ultimate for a very simple reason. You see how they nerf Zerus its Rax? It's because of this, <laughs> dude. Like, they can't, they can't get out of these things. You know, in, in oh, no, 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 I think I think that's actually a case for them being in because now we don't have that well endowed character among the cast, so they would fill the <laughs> slot. Well, there you go. Man, there, there you go. Right there. Okay, no, you know. Now, let's move on to, now, what about the what about the arms character? What what good reason have we come up for those characters not being in the game? I don't have one. I just don't think they're going to yeah, be in. Yeah, shut your dumb ass up. I don't know, know man. <laughs> <laughs> well, when they're not in the game, game. that's okay. zero suit through the ages. <laughs> She's always had a rack. Dude, I genuinely want there to be like a Justin Bailey Zero Suit Samus alternate skin or something. That because she wasn't in the demo, so we didn't get to see all the other costumes. But like, man, I would love that. She would look really hey, cool. Your, your canonical uh, bra breast size is C. There you go. Okay. All right, moving on. Four Wait, Wait. Smash Four. Unless there's other things you guys want to talk about in regards to Donkey Kong, we should move on to Link. Wait, hold up. Uh, Wait, hold up. Last thing on Donkey Kong, that Final Smash though. Oh yeah, oh, it's yeah. awesome. I love He's it. Throwing it's throwing hands. City, boys. Yeah. Like, why do we need an arms character when we got Donkey Kong doing that? Bro, like, Donkey Kong's been taking lessons from Little Mac. That's all I'm going to say. Jungle See, I, think, I, I feel like they Donkey Kong is probably just watching a lot of JoJo. Oh, yeah, that's, that's how that is. It's like, oh, no, 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 no. Distance and does it. Donkey Kong just punches in front of himself. Donkey Kong, Other than that, the same. More like Donkey Kong, Jungle Beatdown. No, Donkey Kong's final smash is when your mom yells at you and you go up to your room and you like start punching the air. <laughs> that's, what, that's what that is. Timmy wouldn't right. give me a piece of gum at school today. Oh no. Bitch. Link. Link, Link, Link. Let's talk about Link. Let's talk about Champion Link. The changes they made to Link. First, let's They hear... got rid of his tether. Finally. Wait, that's bad. No, it, no, it's it good. Depends. He's not Super Bowl. No, I'm kidding. No it, it's not good. On, it's not good on stage. Off stage, it's pretty good. How 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 fast is his new grab in comparison it's a, it's to other people's? Grab. It's super quick. Yeah, but there, like some some characters have slow grabs. Some but it's, it's just fast. it feels normal. It's just it like an average. Okay, true. Link Link. Then, of course, he's, got the, he's got the remote I, bombs I, now. I, instead yeah, of remote bombs, you can use like remote bombs to recover it. I feel I feel like that'll take a little bit of practice, but that's good. I like that. I heard he has a sword beam. Out, Zed, drop it, detonate it, and launch yourself back towards the stage. I managed to put it off yeah. a couple of times. Yeah, the sword yeah, beam is still... Uh, I can't believe they it's actually just on, that in the game. Yeah, I think it's just on forward smash, like forward smash one. That's that's how you do it, when you're at zero. Uh, no, it's it's all smash. No, it's forward smash and forward tilt, I think. Okay, it doesn't matter, because Fox is going to hit him with laser, and then that's it. I'm yeah, sorry, but Fox's true. laser had like three days of lag. That shit hated nobody. <laughs> it, it literally, it literally had the amount of days <laughs> that the like the amount of days that laser takes to it, come out is the amount of days that like, the game is coming out. What you mean? I'm, I'm sorry, but there's never been anything more depressing than playing the new Smash and then coming back home. And then fighting Bayonetta for glory, I I've never been more depressed in my life. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, I like I like the whole thing with Link where you can uh, if you shoot two arrows, which I think is really cool. But you can also pick yeah. up your arrow. I no, think that's so cool. Well, yeah, so that is neat. You, yeah, you yeah. only shoot one. You only shoot one. But if you've got if you pick one up, then you fire two when you use it the next. That's time. A oh, thing okay. From, okay. Is that a yeah. thing from Breath of the Wild? Yeah, he could pick up his own arrows. Well, I know that, but like, can you shoot yeah, two? There, there, yeah, there's a bow. Yeah, there are bows. There's, there's a couple bows that shoot three, three, actually. Three, oh, yeah. Two. That's cool. I didn't know that. That should actually beat that game. He can I was them. genuinely he can expecting. With everything that they were showing in that initial trailer, with all the little like extra icons that show up on the bottom, or like with limit, with cloud, and all that other stuff, I truly expected some type of durability mechanic with Link. So I was surprised yeah, that didn't too. happen. But I'm actually happy that oh, that's. Thank God it didn't happen. Well, Why is the Master <laughs> Sword so long now? Because it's the actual sword. 
I'm surprised they gave Shulk that like directional uh Monado Arts. Monado Arts yeah, selector. How about, wait, how about you wait till we get to Shulk? Well Shulk wasn't in the demo. Shulk, what are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. We're not going to get to him. Okay. Uh, That's I, thought was, I thought it was interesting they gave him like the directional selection and then like Link didn't actually get like Breath of the Wild weapon sweeping. Yeah. I'm I'm kind of fine with it. Uh, I knew I was going to be like, disappointed from what I wanted because I wanted like a complete rework. But... A wild character. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't. Honestly... Really, I don't think, we didn't get any complete reworks of any of the characters that were in the demo at all. Actually, right? No. no just like, I don't think so. The no. stuff, yeah. the stuff I mean, you I... did get was kind of cool. You can Z drop the arrow to like get people below the stage. You can Z drop into down air and stuff like that. There's there's some fun stuff. That's cool. I'll take the remote right ones, though, and the regular guy. How is you know what character here? nobody yeah. cares about? Who? Mega Man. Oh, that too. <laughs> I didn't see that. You know what's Mega funny? I, I got Mega Man because I, I picked random while I was practicing for the invitation, and I think I was the only person who played Mega Man the whole tournament. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, even, yeah, even during the... They had that behind-the-scenes, like, invitational thing, the VIP room where you could just, like, sit and play and switch out. I was watching so many matches, and there was not one match at that entire VIP invitational thing that anybody played Pit in. I did not see a single pit during that entire time. It was in the thing. I didn't see Villager. Yeah, pit was in the demo, but I've man. never I seen anybody play pit in this game. Pac Pac I watched Love Darren Darren him. Baldia pit to get his uh, medal. Yes. <laughs> no, no. Did I, you really? pit. I played pit, Duncan, against a fox. Oh, yeah, you bodied a fox with pit. Sorry, uh, that's what I meant. Leave it to McDareth to play the characters that don't exist. Oh, um, what? Dude, Plop played pit in the Invitational. Pit, bro, his pit was looking clean, too. I fuck with pit. I, I genuinely pit. don't remember seeing any pit. <laughs> he definitely played well, pit in the Invitational. Yeah, I remember that. Is there anything that stood out from that footage from the Invitational since none of us played pit? Um, well, you said McDareth actually did won. against the Fox. Yeah, McDareth won his medal with pit. <laughs> so there you go. So yeah. McDareth, was there anything that changed with pit that you noticed in particular? Or are you happy with how he seems right now? You're on deaf right now, so I don't know if you can hear me. But No, I no, I hear you. I'm... Okay, perfect, perfect. Yeah. I, uh... I really like that Pit's a lot, really very similar to Smash 4 compared to a lot of characters, different animations and stuff, but like all his multi-hit moves go a lot faster. His dash attack, it's like, it seems to hit harder, but maybe it's just because the animation's really different. But I don't know, he's, he felt different, but the same, but like I just really like that all his multi-hit stuff is faster, so it seemed harder to get out of. Mm -hmm. Right on. I feel like a lot of characters will feel the same, but be better just because of how the game is itself. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Pit, does, Pit doesn't really seem that different. Yeah. There's the character right, we'll talk about a little bit right. later that felt exactly like that to me. Mega Man. Uh, I, I thought this was character was Mega perfect Man, in though. Smash 4, but then I actually feel like, nope, now I went and pe went back to play some Smash 4 with the character we'll talk about later, and I was like, uh, I just want to go back to the Smash Ultimate version. It just feels better. Yeah. Um, but we'll get to them. Instead, right now, let's talk about Samus. Uh, Samus I've been the next man. I heard about after Samus, Link. man. Everybody she good? Samus with some penis juice. Damn it. What does that mean? <laughs> you know exactly she what She can't bomb you know jump anymore. Means. She can charge in the air, but she can't bomb okay, jump. Okay, hold on, hold on. She can definitely bomb no, jump. No, she can, can bomb jump. Bomb jump. We saw she can her bomb jump, it. yeah, yeah. Someone was saying she couldn't. Yeah, I heard that too, but then we saw her do Fals it. Fals was doing it on stage. Again, when he was playing the cat, he was he was doing it. Fair enough. Someone but, uh, came up to e me, said you, and McGarrett's junk food. Huh? Someone came up yeah. to all three of us and told us she can't bomb jump. Yeah, anymore. I remember that. That person didn't know could. anything. And that person has no place in our scene. So that's it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. No. Was it DC? Yo, can, I, can, I, can I just talk about the fact that I'm playing for Glory? That was and disgusting. I break a shield. I break, I break a Palatina shield at 30% with Rosalina. And I fully charge a force smash. She fucking died. We know, man. Nice. Rosalina? I, that, I, I, have, I have the clip. <laughs> I have the clip. Oh, you oh, have it? That was, I that have was the, the biggest clip. bullshit I've seen in like a while. <laughs> I have the I have the How clip. How do you break her shield, Jab? I, I just did like a force smash and he like fuck fuck their shield, dude. Hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm making sure to get Talking about shielding, shield. how do people feel about the new perfect shield mechanic? Oh, I love, oh, it. I love it. I love it. Dude, I literally won the tournament and I didn't even use it once. <laughs> use it a couple no, of times. I saw you in the final use it a couple of times. Well, I, I did it accidentally. I, ne I never meant to. <laughs> it really be like that. <laughs> Every time I got it, I was just like, no, go go away. <laughs> I was like, that's what I thought. But you weren't actively you were thinking to about do it on perfect shielding. But, uh, well, yeah, I mean, it's something, I it's something it, that we have to get used to. Uh, yeah, I did it on accident a bunch of times, too. 
I'm gonna put it in here and I'll put it in your chat zero for you. Oh, okay. It kind of cool. stuns them when you do it, though, doesn't it? It's like the person hitting yeah, the perfect shield. They said that um, the stronger the move, the longer they'll be stunned after a perfect shield. Which Is I, there I, anything I just, else we got to talk I, about in regards to, to Samus? Yeah, you know, I, I feel really, like... I didn't play. All right, Revere, so I heard, I heard the character's combo game isn't as good, which really hurts the character, because in Smash yeah. 4, essentially, she was like this... She wasn't really that much of a zoner outside of charge shot. She was more like... Charge, charge shot from a long distance and dash attack for combos. But it's like, if she can't dash attack and combo you, then w what is she meant to be? Is she meant to be a zoner? Then why are her missiles really laggy? Is she. I'm sorry. Like, they said you could run. She just kind of. Now, yeah. Right? The super missile is like a little slower, so you could fire it and move yeah. it. Yeah. But like, like what you're supposed to do the whole. You, you can't like auto cancel the landings like you could in melee and brawl, and it still feels very slow to fire a missile. So it's just kind of like, what is Samus really to be these days? Um, I play Plub Samus a lot, and it's very easy. Like, because you do more damage with Samus, she doesn't have to come anymore because a lot of her moves will just do 25 damage anyway. <laughs> so she doesn't have to do any of that. And then she can camp in the air now. So the strat is that all you need to do is just you release a missile because they slow down, but the animation keeps going. So you can just release a missile, and then Samus can move a little bit before the missile fully goes in. Uh, so you can like slightly have like some sort of advantage with the missile. So it's actually not bad. Well, I was actually playing okay. with Hugo during the uh, invitational stuff, and he was trying out Samus and all the different techniques. And one thing, yeah, that he said really stood out to him was the difference in the power missiles, because it does feel very different. And I'm not somebody who plays Samus competitively. <laughs> I don't really know what to expect. But when I tried it, it really did feel different to me. So, yeah, I'm curious to see uh, how people are going to pick her up. After Samus, we've got Kirby. Uh, Hungry Box is new main apparently. If if Jigglypuff is not good, so what are you guys thinking about Kirby right now? It's uh, it's the same shit. <laughs> wait 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 wait. It's, <laughs> it's the same <laughs> shit. Fire I was, attack, if though. I was gonna pick no, Mario, no, no, I was gonna no, no, pick no, no, Kirby. No. It's the same shit. Wait, no, it really no. is. It's, it literally plays the exact same. He has fire dash <laughs> you, attack now. You fucking run in. You back here. No, you camp. No. You camp, you back air, you fucking back air, you throw them off the level, you down air, you, you, you throw a force rush when you think they're not paying attention. There you go, that's, that's fucking Kirby. No, no, no. Wait, <laughs> there are some differences. I, I, no, no, no. I, I, wait, his, 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 uh, his inhale is different though. Yeah. He, he can eat He can more. eat everything. Like, he can eat. <laughs> he can eat Samus's charge shield. Fully charged shot. Fit it back yeah. out and they'll do the same amount of damage too. Gross. Wait, is wait, that- can spit really? it back out? Yeah. yeah. Somebody, somebody. You can spit it back out and there's like video? 20. Yeah, somebody. Yeah. So the star, like wow, the star retains shot. how much damage whatever he actually sucked up would do. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Can he jump uh, when he has something let me in the air? Let me to it. Or you can swallow it and uh, heal yourself. He can jump, but he can't float, right? That's how that works. So he can jump when he has something inhaled. So he's got a DDD's thing. Yeah, but I feel like oh, I from what we saw on DDD's trailer, I feel like DDD is different. Where he won't fire a star. I feel like he just shoots the projectile, like he did with the Gordo. I also like the the whole video of when they were like humble bragging. They were like, "Yeah, you know, every time we add a new character, Kirby gets harder to to do, but you know, we make it work." I was like, oh, yeah. "Okay." I was like, "Okay, we have to, we get it." it we're it, on the topic fun. of Kirby characters too, and DDD wasn't the demo, so I just want to say too, DDD's new Final Smash is one of the coolest things I love that it. has ever been added to a Smash game. I absolutely adore that it's a cage match. He has his mask and he spins around and slams him into the wall. It looks so cool. <clears throat> I I wanted buff Star Allies Kirby, but you know what? This is fine too. Or sorry, Star, Star Allies <laughs> yeah, DDD. Yeah. yeah, but uh, this is fine too, I guess. Yeah, All right. Not, now, you know, no, no, now, uh, no, 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 no. Something very, market. very That's important with Kirby. Yeah, that is not Kirby itself, but is a part of Kirby's move set. Kirby has melee dash attack back, yeah. and we've talked about it on the podcast that got changed because Sakurai didn't like that it looked like a special move. When it was only a normal attack, which means Sakurai has now gone back on part of his design philosophy for the games. He's backtracked on something that he Sakurai said. Back. Backtracked on a couple of things. I can do whatever the fuck He's I backtracked want. on something yeah. that he said a decade ago. Sakurai also said that Ridley was too big to be in the game, and now Ridley's in the yeah, game. Because he wants to shut game up. He also said he didn't know how to make a move set for Villager. <laughs> yeah, like, that's right. He did say that during the brawl era. Hey, right. hey, he's got. He's been like teaching Namco guys how to make Smash games. So like maybe he, maybe someone else made Villager. Maybe someone's just like, I can do this. I'll tackle this. I doubt it. Sakurai's pretty hands on. 
Well, I, what I thought you were going to talk about with Kirby, the uh, only thing they really highlighted during, well, other than saying that, yeah, they have to put in a lot of work for all the different copy abilities, was uh, one of his down Bs is now like the treasure chests from Breath of the Wild, which that's I thought cool. was kind of cute. That's a cool yeah, touch. Yeah. That's a cool. Yeah. Cool. That was a week of dev cool time. Tidbit. Honestly, yeah. I want to say again with the dash attack, and Kirby actually kills. Like, you wouldn't think Kirby could kill with it, but like the fire one can kill. Did you see somebody? Right it's hard. I don't remember the percent, but it wasn't that high. And it's like, a normal range in Smash 4 where a dash attack would kill. He killed. That's crazy. That's awesome. But All right. Well, now, uh, now back to it. Now, now moving on to Shofu's old main. Oh, we talking about say Fox? Fox? <laughs> We're talking oh, about Fox. Let's talk about Fox for zero, a Hey, Zero, get ask. them. Please. Talk oh, about ask, Fox, dude, bro. That, Fox was the worst. <laughs> I, of course. It was ass. It was so ass, dude. It's actually crazy. I played him one match, and I said, this is the worst character in the demo, for sure, 100%. And I never touched him. And then I asked every top player after, and they were like, yeah, Fox probably the worst. I was like, it took me one stuck to know that, that, shit, that shit was rest in peace. They complete, He feels completely different. I don't know if he's per, like bad, per se, because obviously I haven't played that much. I feel like Tilt and, and Jab and uh, you know, all the other stuff out of, out of Shield, like F Tilt out of, uh, out of Das, excuse me, uh, will be nice. But his side B literally made me cry every time I used it, bro. <laughs> you know, it's see, so the way, bad. You know, the, the, the so that you were the one worse? saying that he wasn't nerfed. You were the one in the room. Oh, you played it for one day and no, you no, said no, he's no, terrible. No, 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 no. I didn't say. I, I said he's not bad. People were saying that he's just straight up garbage. I said I don't know about all of that. But see, I am saying that his side B look, is garbage, hot garbage, disgusting. <laughs> it, it shuffle, but, years but, to but look, but look, huh? But look, but look. I, I, I'm gonna argue he's ass because a lot of his moves just don't combo. Like down yeah, doesn't. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that as well. Uh, up smash doesn't kill like until 130. Four tilt doesn't kill, doesn't do anything because by the time up smash kills, it doesn't combo anymore. Yeah. Uh, neutral air is probably his best move, but then again, it's like it's just fucking neutral. It's not that big of a deal. Um, backer seems has worse range and it's just auto cancels in a worse area. So it's like when you auto cancel it, it has less range. So I feel like it's just bad. It's stronger. Uh, forder, yeah, forder is okay. Um, upper. I feel like people fall out of it. Really? I didn't. I didn't see that. I th I think so. Yeah. Um, it seems to have decent decent power, but like it's that's really probably strong. about it. He's oh, like he's up worse too. Up those worse. Yeah, up has more lag at the end of it now, which is uh -huh. terrible. Yeah, like three frames, I think. Yeah. So up tilt's laggier. Apparently, down B is faster. Uh, forward air makes you float like brawl. So I don't know if that's good or bad. Back air looks a little different. Down air felt the same, but it's. The side B, bro. <laughs> would you would you say that Fox like it wasn't it? Fox inherently didn't get nerfed, but the mechanics and the way no, he, no, he, no, he, he absolutely no, no, got Fox nerfed. did inherently get nerfed him. His up tilt has more lag. Okay, I couldn't oh, so combo for shit, bro. Changed. I couldn't okay, combo okay. for shit. Just okay. a little bit. I get I get like one hit and then two hits, but you know in Smash Four I'm getting seventeen hits in a row. And then his side B, I can't emphasize his side B enough. It takes so long to for him to start moving. Once he starts moving, it's in slow motion. He can't go through shields. I don't know if that's if that's going to be changed or not, but it needs to be. And and then you you can kind of combo out of it, but not really. Oh, it's shields or counters because they hit a counter, they just fall. I don't I don't fuck with that at all. <laughs> but I'm saying See, um, this happened to Falco. But who main Falco in Brawl? Larry. No. And then it happened to Fox. Why? Who main Fo uh, Fox? We're not even talking Four. about Falco. So you you know See, uh, you know who to complain to. I'm part of the crowd that feels like Fox could never be bad. I feel like by the time the game releases, they'll put him back up to speed. Yeah, and even yeah. if not by the time he yeah. release, they release the game, they'll do what they did with Smash 4 Marth, where they gradually buff him back to what he was, Jesus or back to Christ. a good state. Because like Fox is so. one of the, Fox is one of the blessed characters, dude. Like no, him and Pikachu. Fox anyway. That was uh, that was one of the bugs Sakura I noticed. They accidentally had Fox set to 0.8 speed. I mean, he's still really fast. It's just... Although, uh, speaking of... It was uh, so hard to combo with him. But then again, I wasn't playing with the controls that I'm normally playing with. So, I, I feel like I feel like Tilt out of out of Dash will be really good on Fox. Even even if he's uh, the same as... Speaking of right uh, Pikachu, though. Pikachu. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Before we move over to Pikachu, because we're not going to have an opportunity to talk about it any other time during the show, while we're on the topic of Fox and Star Fox characters, Shofu, this is your time to shine. Talk about Wolf. What do you want me to say, ah, man? I everything. Just, what do you I'm want to say? How, do you like the way he looks? Do you like the changes to the I'm moves? I'm rubbing everything. it in all your faces until the game is out. I told y'all he was coming back. 
until now he he looks different. Obviously, he has the you know he has a different design from a, from a more recent game. And uh, yeah, I noticed that a bunch down. of his moves have changed. I don't know what his back air looks like or his down air. Or even um, his F smash or up smash. But his down smash looks a little slower. Looks looks pretty much the same, though. His forward air is different. His uh, neutral air is different. Uh, what else? Is that about it? That's different? Blaster is faster. Yeah, that's faster as well. Yeah. That was one of the characters that he said that uh, he adjusted almost all of the moves for, too. So I do feel like you're going to get, even if you can't really tell from the video, uh, you're going to get a, yeah. a changed wolf. I think yeah. Because he's not an echo fighter, he had to be adjusted quite a bit. Right, right. And he, he, was, was, he wasn't one in the first place. Wolf was more different from Fox than Falco was. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Speaking of Falco, yes. was there anything <laughs> you guys noticed in the videos for Falco? Yes, yes time. Yes. Is Falco back? Oh my god. Okay. Anyway, about... We don't even know if Falco's in the game. Anyway, yet. they made Falco's blaster faster, both firing and putting it back as faster. Side B seemed about the same, but the the footage in the video I think is older than the demo we played, because even Fox's mm -hmm. side B was Smash 4 in his video, so we can't really judge that. He does have the Fox thing where if he hits a shield or a, a counter, he just falls. So that is there. Um Down Air seemed faster. People said forward air was faster. I didn't look at it enough to really see. Uh, reflector was definitely faster. So I'm, I'm happy. A new rapid jab finisher, finally. Wait, where did he even finisher? use forward air and down air? In uh, the video when they first showed off the Squid Sisters, Falco was on it. You see him jump down air and then jump forward air. Okay. It's everything. I know most of us don't really care about Final Smashes, but I do actually like the change where they got rid of the Landmaster and they put in the so R-Wings finally. I like finally. they got rid of Landmaster. Yeah. I don't like that they yeah. basically have the same Final Smash still. No, I no, do no, like, though, terrible. that they removed all the transformation Final Smashes. I like that yeah. now it's just like one and done. You, Giga Bowser shows up in the back of the screen or like Giga Mac like does a flurry of punches. It's like their it's actual great. super moves. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. As opposed to like walking around the stage and using it. Yeah. I want four stock with Smash Ball side events. Okay, no. <laughs> oh, come on. I said side event. Calm All the right. fuck down. All right, you did say yeah. side events. I knew this was coming. That's fine. I heard about you, bro. <laughs> I heard about you. All Legal right, now. Hazards off. Now we can move on. Of now we can move on to everybody's favorite little Pokemon, Pikachu. Pikachu's broken. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> He's down air spikes now. What I was the getting fuck? My East Sam was ah. beating my cheeks, bro. I'm telling Ew. you, pause. <laughs> he okay, was deep inside, Ew. bro. Well, okay, <laughs> that double, double pause. I'm gonna pause for you because you clearly need assistance. Anyway, e Pikachu is OD. Is a, okay, first of all, this is a clearly better Pikachu in the hands of a Pikachu master. All right, my <clears> man <throat> was going crazy. Definitely. I couldn't do he anything. And, super good, now. bro. I'm telling you. I up tilted him with Fox since Fox's up tilt got twenty years of more lag now. He was he was getting out of my combos. His nair is broken, his nair was dragging people off stage. He nared and down aired yeah. me and then he spiked me. Like, what even is that? Why does Pikachu down there have a spike? Dude, and he it's was the power of the Pika Libre the costume, man. Giving Pikachu that Pika Libre costume. Pikachu to is him. looking ridiculous, so, bro. I'm just saying, yeah, yeah, that that definitely that points at Pokemon, I'm just saying. saying. No, it doesn't. Doesn't. it doesn't. Stop bringing up poke. I'm about to get out of my house. Jero, <laughs> Jero, how are you feeling about Pikachu? He just seems cheap. Yeah, he's that fantastic. Fantastic description, Zero. He's definitely cheap. Why can he drag people off stage <laughs> even better than he could before? Why does, why does it down air spike? Let's go, Who is that Pikachu. Good for? Yeah, that's 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 what I'm curious about. Like, why? Like, Pikachu already had some of the best edge guarding in the game in Smash 4. Why mm -hmm. did they improve it in a game where characters are going to have a harder time getting back to stage anyway? I think they did it be to make him more different than Pichu. Since Pichu's not an Echo fighter, it's it's they, they want changed Pichu to, more. To, to win. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't understand, bro. How Pichu, is Captain I... Falcon ever going to be <laughs> a Pikachu now? While, while we're talking about game Pichu, I am and, definitely uh, nice expecting to see a lot of Pikachu mains at events who want to style on people play as Pichu because of like obviously rage is still there even though it's it's like not anywhere near as bad as it was in Smash 4. I could see them utilizing both rage and also Pichu's ability, you know, where every time he does an attack he actually hurts himself and then ended up just like styling on people as an all for nothing kind of character. 
Um, I'm just I'm happy Pichu is back. I saw some people were upset that everybody was back. I actually am happy that Pichu's back. Rogers, I'm sorry, Pichu. but that 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 strategy sounds like ass. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm not a, I'm, I'm not a competitive player. Like, I play competitively, but I'm the most casual competitive player you will ever meet. So. No, I'm, I'm thinking about strategies for, uh, you know, four player, eight player with smash balls on. So something else. Like, Pikachu looks so OD. And the, the best buff Pikachu got is now you can play female Pikachu. That's so yeah. cool. Uh, yeah. That is so the little, cool. The little tail? Yeah, that's so cool. And you're going to But if you're playing anything but Pikachu Libre, you're fucking up. That's I agree. Crazy. Pikachu I agree. got a hat. <laughs> Or 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 he, Pikachu got the birthday cap. Bring back the birthday cap. And something else that's really cool Pikachu that Pikachu is right or there. Pikachu, I mean, when Pikachu up bees, like right before he moves, an arrow pops up that shows you where he's going. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and he did the same thing with Ness with his up B too. Yeah. Speaking of, wait, what? Yeah. When yeah, Ness, Ness is actually the next Thunder character in the demo. We gonna talk about Ness? When Pikachu Thunder Two is about to hit Ness, that same arrow appears, and the arrow is colored by their port. Yeah, so whatever whatever direction they're going, the arrow will point in that direction. I need to see this. They don't leave anything I, uh, up to interpretation anymore. Yeah. <laughs> right. they, the they, have a, they have a display or an effect or something that tells you about everything yeah. that you need the, to know in the game. That is one of the best things about this game is that yeah. it's got that, like, splash screen every time you lose a stock if you're going 1v1 right. and it's like, you know, 3-2. So two, nothing two, nothing two. is left to question. Oh, yeah. it looks so good. The thing that, like, for me, like that really blew me out of the water even more than the characters or all that is all like the quality of life and ui changes that this game got in every conceivable measure like they really took the time to go through every character and be like okay not only how can we make this character you know more fun or make this character better or whatever but they made it a conscious effort to make this characters more intuitive be like okay i know what's in my pocket and so does my opponent if i'm playing villager or I know exactly how much limit I have at all times. Like they made it so that every every character you like I said, like you don't leave anything up to chance, which I think is like amazing. Yeah. It just quality of life changes everywhere. Yeah. You can see everything at once. Ness up Ness up there is some trash though. No, it's not. No, it's just a strong. Uh, Yo, who is lo- why, what are you, why are you nah, telling lies, man? Nah, I need that, the I cat, need that noggin. No, 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 no. And the cat was saying that the new one is actually better. Huh? Well he prefers it. It's disjointed. Is it really? I didn't know that. Yeah. What the? F- <laughs> okay, uh-huh. never mind. I take back everything I just said. I just I saw it in the video and saw a little bit of gameplay, and I was like, "This thing doesn't look good at all." I did not notice those arrows. That's cool. Does yeah. Lucario have that? Mm, Why well, we haven't seen Lucario. Lucario wasn't in the demo. Yeah. Yeah, but like, P- like I just grabbed screenshots of Ness and Pikachu from their trailers. Oh. So I'm going to go check Lucario and see if he has that on his uh, B. Yeah, take a look. I don't think he. I love that. too that they added Paula and Pooh to his final smash. I think that's such a nice little touch. And then Kumatora and Boney, and Lucas's. Come on now, man. I don't think so so happy. I, I also I also love how uh, the PK boys their visual effects are more reflective of kind of like the graphics in the mother games. Hmm. They've got like those diamond effects and all that. On yeah, they're a little more psychedelic. Yeah. Yeah, I love well, that. Like, they all have like direct references to stuff from other now. There was a good tweet that like deconstructed all of them, but like uh, P- Ness's PK Fire has it. Uh, both of their Final Smashes have stuff straight out of their games. It's really interesting. I think it's good. Okay. It's always we'll good to it. like reference the source material. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, we talked a little bit about Bowser earlier, but is there anything else you guys want to talk about in terms of Bowser before we move on to the ice climbing? Yeah, Bowser His side B is plain, bro. Is stupid. His side B, he elbow drops, you know. Yeah. They changed the animation of it. Oh, God. His down, his down smash is different. It's pretty clean. They've made him seem much more like an actual wrestler. No, he, he does like wrestling moves. It's kind of cool. Oh, right God. on. All right. Ice Climbers it is. We got to talk about Ice Climbers. I tried them. I couldn't figure them out. Ice Climbers have returned. I'm I, man, they I feel worse. I'm they, feel, they feel really bad. They Dude, should I'll, feel I'll, worse. They're good. Yeah, so, so I'll, I'll tell you a story. I think you guys will like this. So okay. when Ice Climbers were announced in the backstage of the Invitational, every single player that was in that room, we boo the fuck out of Ice Climbers next to Nintendo people. <laughs> 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 so, yo, fuck Ice Climbers, bro. I don't want them shit. <laughs> 
They don't chain grab anymore. They can't chain grab anymore because uh, Nana good. can't. Grab. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, good. I mean, so they probably, they only probably once wouldn't have been grab, able to anyway. grab. Are they still? Are they like? Are they fun to play at least? No, I didn't like him. I, I, didn't I had fun. I, I don't know. I had fun with him. I played him quite a few times in uh, during the, the invitational night. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Apparently, the cat was still getting decent stuff with them, but I never saw footage of him playing them. Yeah, I heard it was like mm, you could do it through, like pivot it. smashes or something. Yeah, he was trying to get that. Uh, there's footage of him versus I think D1 where he's. Trying to set up the desyncs with his like pivot F smash. Oh yeah, they were doing that on the stage. There was like a little uh, like raised stage area with two little white chairs, and they sat down and they were trying to do that. Yeah, I hope that footage is available somewhere because I think Smash Studios is recording stuff. So, yeah, here I found the tweet. Of Ness. Yeah, no, I like them. I'm just like I am very, very, very happy that they're back. Yeah, um, me too. Just as somebody again who's like a little more casual of a player. I just, I don't know. I think they're funny. They reference a cool little game. They're retro rep. I like them. I'm happy to see them return. I thought it was really interesting they made Nana do like a dance during Popo's grabs because like they have the chain grab prevention in the game where you can't grab yeah. someone like one second after they've been thrown. So like just off that system alone, you shouldn't be able to do handoffs. No, but I think that's also oh. there for D-Sync stuff because you could grab someone yeah. and then charge a smash attack with the other one. So they uh, force yeah, her to do yeah. something you can't do that. Or like if if you get grabbed or like yeah, if Popo gets grabbed, Nana can just down smash and you die. I okay, so I like the like panic from Nana when you get grabbed, so it's like she can't do something to knock you out of it. But I I kind of like the aspect of ice climbers where like if you get a grab with Popo, you can charge a smash attack with Nana to like finish the throw. That's too easy though. It seems a little busted, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. We'll talk, we'll though. Can uh, Luma I mean... start panicking when you touch Rosa too, please? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Does <laughs> she not? Either we, way, I mean, they're not new. No. no, Luma's chilling, bro. Their oh, new so. up air is pretty cool, and uh, I think their fair is faster, or at least does more damage or something. The it fair looks... looked like it's an um, crazy it's angle. Crazy yeah. Angle. Yeah. yeah. Melee chic fair angle. <laughs> and the up air has like a wider range instead of just poking the hammer up like 90 degrees. Yeah. Isn't that a, isn't that a better angle though? If that was the sweet spot, because like the old sweet spot just sent you down. I mean, it's harder to recover from a. I actually don't know. Yeah. Though. Yeah. Another not minor has, thing. Not that's like has a, recoveries that can make it back from a forty-five degree, but most can make it down from you know straight down off the stage. It's a minor visual change, but I wanted to bring this up too. Is uh, I love the change made to their final smash, where now when the glacier turns around, you see all the characters from Ice Climbers on it. So like the little polar bears yeah, walk in, cool. and like the other little uh, the little seals are waving at you and stuff. So I thought that was kind of a neat little visual touch. But yeah, you I know actually, what I'm tell really you happy funny? the summit's coming back too because I hate Ice Mountain and I love the summit. So <laughs> I'm glad they chose it. Yes, Zero, what's up? Uh, do you know that they still can't get over it without being? <laughs> So like if you're a solo ice climber you, you, or like and you final smash or like yeah. like instruction, you actually can't get over it. <laughs> <It's like laughs> <in pro>. <laughs> and <laughs> they're the fucking ice climbers. Well, that's it is tragic. what it is. That is because you know you know how their final smash they, they they summon this fucking ice thing right and you have like, right and then you have to end up on one side. Yeah, totally. Yes. So like if you get separated, you actually can't get to the other side. You can't wow. do it. Wow. That's why I think it's funny because <laughs> they're called the ice climbers. Yeah. Right. They can't climb their own ice. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Right on. Uh, well, moving on, let's talk about Sheik for a little bit. Sheik well, not probably pretty, a little bit. I think we're probably going to be talking about Sheik for a lot, but... She felt like Sheik. Why well, does Bouncy like Fish hit so hard? I'm saying. I like that uh, Sheik has the Breath of the Wild look, too, a little bit. Yeah, she it's obviously like, there. you know, Sheik comes from Ocarina, but it's using, like, the, uh, right. the Sheikah items from Breath of the Wild. That's because it's the hot Zelda. take that it upset you at E3, so I'm sorry to repeat it, Roger. Um, if it's Breath of the Wild Sheik, right? Yeah. Then it's not Zelda. Because Zelda never became Sheik in Breath of the Wild. Yeah, so that's, that's just a that's my, random Sheikah. But no, Zelda that's never my boy. No, that's Sheik my boy Link. Princess either. Pardon? Zelda never came Sheik in Twilight Princess either. Okay, but it wasn't the Twilight Princess look. It was just an updated. No, but they based it on Twilight Princess. On the Twilight Princess, the Twilight Princess look. Princess. Yeah, yeah. Nah, that ain't Sheik. That's my boy Link. 
in the Sheik. There era. was nah, no nah, Sheik. Nah, what I'm nah. saying is there was no Sheik in Twilight Princess. So you're taking yeah. Sheik and you're but making But I mean, it I like, like I like what they did with this too, because I liked what they did with Sheik in, in Smash 4 too, where they sort of based it on what would happen if like Sheik was in Twilight Princess. But ultimately, and that's kind of what they did with Sheik. Yeah, Sheik is not in Breath of the Wild, but it's nah, like what that's... Sheik would have looked like in Breath of the Wild. It's still Sheik. That, that, that's. But there are Sheikah who aren't Zelda, right? There are a lot. That, there's an entire tribe of Sheikah yeah. who aren't. We'll Zelda. probably we'll probably get an Echo Fighter Impa over Sheik. So that calling it right now. I think it's going to happen. Uh, that could just be Link in the in the Sheikah outfit. I'm saying maybe, that's, maybe. That's that's does uh, does Sheik have boobs? I know we talked about boobs earlier. Does Sheik have boobs in this? Who version? fucking no. cares? Well, we would know. We would know. Had, Link oh, doesn't oh, have boobs. Point is she's if anybody would care, it'd be you. Damn. That's crazy. Now coast is quiet. Yeah, yeah called up. Because I don't cold. care about this discussion. Yeah, you uh, have yeah, thick thigh yeah, Thursdays, yeah. Coast. What are you hey, talking so about? I don't, what, care, what, 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 I don't about care about boobs. This discussion. Sorry. That's an ass man. He you don't care about exactly. Let's move I'm on. Seeing I'm one. seeing boobs. All right. Moving on from Sheik. Wait, wait. Let's talk on, about wait, wait, the wait, new. Okay, go ahead. The end of it. I don't know if it has at least a bigger win box. I kept looking, and there was one time she upbeat next to Little Mac, and he didn't push back at all. So I don't know if that's for sure it's gone, but it seems like it's not as big, if anything. Right on. Oh, cool. one other small thing about Sheik, and this actually kind of carries on to Zelda as well. Side B in the air doesn't put you helpless any. Oh, yeah, that's Cause, true. Because Sheik needed buffs. <laughs> well, they, they're probably getting, doing away with that entirely. Like, Zelda doesn't do that either. It was kind of dumb, that, it was kind of dumb that, that did that to Sheik in the first place. So she can yeah. she can throw out the bomb and then like bouncing fish afterwards. You know what Smash for you needed that better recoveries. Uh, okay, so Zelda. We're talking it's about not Zelda. A better now. recovery that doesn't so have Zelda. At all. Link between Zelda worlds. Awesome. Zelda. Yeah, that's so cool. I'm so glad they used Link between worlds as the Zelda. Man, I'm, I'm glad, man, the old Zelda was a serious ass female, bro. <laughs> Why was she so? She didn't smile, nothing, bro. This Wait, there's something. Bad. Uh, there's something you guys didn't mention about Sheik that I don't think anyone it. knows. Go ahead. Uh, uh, the first part of a B has no invincibility at all. Oh, Ooh. thank God. Oh. Never mind, she got no Oh, yeah, I did hear about that, yeah. I, I know because there was a moment in Grand Finals versus Leo where I tried to hit him without B over the ledge, and then Sonic Force Smash literally just went through the whole thing. And I was like, oh, I'll hit him, right? And then oh, he I didn't saw take that. any damage. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 like, it, it protected me it not at all. Really early. And then I think, I think Needles got nerfed because they have really low pushback. So if you needle someone like a high, very high percent, they go nowhere. That's good. Excellent. They, those things used to break you out of neutral from across the screen. Yeah, they have, they have a lot of range, but they don't have a... It, it's not worth it, you know, to even charge them, I think. That's One crazy. thing I actually just noticed, I, I went to the website really quickly to look at Sheik's page. Each of the characters, I'm sure you guys probably noticed this by now, but each of the characters behind them, you could see their home stage. And so, Link, you end up seeing the Breath of the Wild Great Plateau stage. Sheik, you see Gerudo yep. Valley is coming to the uh, to Smash Ultimate. It's going to be in HD, which is kind of nice. You see Zelda's is the temple. Uh, Young Link has Great Bay. Toon Link has the Spirit Tracks train. And Ganondorf has uh, Bridge of Elden, which I think is kind of neat that they all have their own little little home stage. I didn't Bridge notice that before on the website. Ganondorf's home stage. I feel yeah. like Sheik and Ganon almost needed to be switched. Yeah. I don't know. Because it's OLT Ganon, so he's from Garuda Valley. Kind of. Yeah, that's true. That. It's whatever. It's whatever. Like, that's that's, true. It's Sakurai's decision, man. But I literally just noticed that on the website. No one to bring that up. I think it looks kind of cool. Yeah, behind, man. behind Samus, normal Samus, you can see uh, Norfair from Brawl. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was going to talk about this after we got to all characters, but I'm pretty sure every stage is going back, and I wouldn't be surprised if every mode came back as well. Ooh. Every So you think we're getting Smash Run, and we're going to get Smash Tour, and we're going to get all the Break the Targets, and we're going to get Board the Platforms. And Subspace Emissary, too. Really? Right. That's a um, massive workload. It'd be kind of oh, crazy, yeah. man. The car I don't know about Subspace. That's have. what they're doing with this game, though. They're going fucking ballistic. I can see uh, subspace if there so aren't all the other modes coming back. I, I can honestly see them doing subspace. I was waiting yeah, for this episode. I was waiting for this episode to make the call. They're gonna bring back every stage. They're gonna bring back every motor, almost every mode. I'm expecting subspace emissary and Taboo's gonna team up with Master Core. What in the hell? So you Bro, think it's a brand new subspace from? emissary be story? Cool. It'd be fucking insane. Well, they did say at this Ambitious. E3 that they were focusing just on the multiplayer. So I feel like at some point, 
Yeah, probably like, during a fall mm -hmm. direct and during a smash brothers direct we're gonna find out more modes and probably more characters because i think at the very least we're getting two new characters two more new characters and yeah. i think we'll probably see one around like evo um maybe around in a direct like in the late summer early fall and then another one in that smash direct that's my guess uh, we're on Zelda still, so let's actually let's talk more about she Zelda. She feels I feel better like back now. to I, the wife. I, I might just be imagining yeah. <laughs> it because she looks so good now, but she feels better. No, she definitely, she she's like definitely better. better. She does 100%. feel better. Yeah, the fact that she can side be in the air is really good. You can do that off stage and try to hit people and maybe try to like edge guard them a little bit. Uh, oh, yeah. You can move. You can move while doing her down B. Yeah, so it gives her, her pressure automatically. That I love new fans. You can run now up to she somebody while has that, that giant phantom in the back. Wait, so you can move like horizontally while you're charging it? Yeah, you can move. No, you can yeah, move yeah, you can do whatever you yeah, want. Yeah. So, so, so you... No, no, that's, that's not quite correct. So once you finish charging it, the phantom stays there. And you can act before the phantom moves. Oh, okay. But it's not like you can move while you're charging it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mm. But that but that gives you that gives people the opportunity for like setups. Which I think yeah. Zelda, Zelda really needs. Like, that's like a super sick like option coverage, especially off the ledge. You could, throw, you could set up the guy... And then as the guy is there about to strike, you just start, you jump and you cover the jump option too. Like now she has a lot of options to uh, catch Ooh. recoveries. Yeah. I love the new look of Pharaoh's Wind too. That was something I noticed in the demo. It looks so good now. It's like this little green tornado that swirls her up. It's pretty neat. Everything looks good. Shout yeah. out to the fucking people who fucking made all that shit. It's so good. Shout out to whoever decided, hey, let's make a brand new Zelda model instead of using the old one again. Which I think is so cool, just from a, a, a fan perspective of The Legend of Zelda, is that they decided to represent all the different generations. You've got, like, Ocarina of Time with Ganondorf. You've got Breath of the Wild with Link. Link Between Worlds with Zelda. Majora's Mask with Young Link. Toon Link with yep. Wind Waker and Spirit Tracks. Well, they it's represented, great. They represented every timeline, as far as I can yeah. tell. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I like, is that you've got timeline options. I love it. So, yeah. Uh, who's next? Marth. Marth. <laughs> That boy, quick. That, yeah, that new side yeah. B looks clean. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> was, All right. That was no, one, one thing, thing I noticed when I was playing is like, it is so easy to pull off. It's literally could not be easier to pull off now. And it comes out super fast. Actually, one thing I noticed about the startup of Marth side B is that it's actually slower than it ever was. It feels the, easier to pull off, though. Yeah, the strikes themselves, like, they string into each other faster, but the actual startup of the first hit is slower. Mm hmm. I heard you can't like break up the the strikes in between. It's like once you throw it out, it's committed. Yeah. There's not enough just... then. If it comes out slower and you can't break it up, isn't that isn't that enough? No. Uh, the move is. I'd say when you when you properly string it together, the move seems quite a bit more reliable than in Smash Four. But the startup is definitely enough. How much? How much is the startup nerf? Um. I mean, at the moment, I counted it's hitting it hitting on frame nine as opposed to frame six. I kind of I kind of yeah. like that because in Smash Four, tell me I'm wrong. In Smash Four, anytime somebody touched your shield at all, you just side B immediately, <laughs> or or jab, I guess maybe if you're if you're spaced enough. But it, I, felt, I felt I felt that was kind of brain dead. You just you touch Mart's shield at all, you just side B immediately. Like it was just side, it was a side B machine. I like that it comes out slower. Maybe you'll do something else this time. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I think it's interesting that it's faster. Uh, if you've ever had a moment like me where you don't touch melee for like six months and then you try to do Dancing Blade in melee, it's fucking impossible. Oh, it's like, so slow in melee. The, and the input window is so dumb. Uh, my question with faster Dancing Blade is if you can still stagger it as much as you could before or if you have to do it fast or not at all. Uh, I don't think... I'm not sure, actually. I don't think people were really... Can you, can you still do, like, the MK Leo like, timing shit, where you do, like, the first swing and then delay the second hit? No. Nah. You can't? No, nah. no, no. Uh, I think Dancing Play... The new, I think the new Dancing Play sucks. Like, it's just very inconsistent. Like, people kept dropping out of it. Uh, I think the Smash 4 one is, is the best one. You think the Smash 4 Dancing Play is better than uh, the new one? The The one? Like, what are you talking about? I was saying that Smash Ultimate Dancing Blade, I don't think is very good. Oh, why is that? Okay. Because it's just inconsistent. It doesn't land consistently. 
That's the main problem. Like every oh, time really? I wanted to, yeah, no, no, no. Like people kept dropping out, and it's very weak too. Really? Like Smash Four One is super consistent. People can't do anything about it, and it kills. And it's also really fast too. Hmm. I do really like uh, what they've kind of, or at least I mean, what it, it seems like they've done Marth's with the other rest stuff of. Is better, though. You were, I saw your stream the other day when you were talking about how smooth Marth feels, his nair, his forward air. Yeah, I think I think he's better come, overall. <laughs> and then you turned mm -hmm. on Smash Four, and everything was lagging. Yeah, I think he's I think he's better overall. I think he, I think he has to be a, a top tier character. He just has to be. At least yeah. from the way he moves in place, it just has mm. to be. Especially in the context of this game's mechanics, like seeing Marth just kind of bash back and forth and having immediate access to stuff like down tilt and yeah, he, jab. He, even though it's jab, he, does, not he doesn't great. need the side B as much. Before, like I yeah. said, Smash Four, you just side B whenever anybody does anything. But mm. you know, if he has more options in this game, he can run in down tilt, stuff like that. Like, I think I like that better. Yeah, it is better. Well, just one like weird little visual thing that I noticed about Marth too is he seems less anime to me. Like I feel like his new look is something I much prefer. He looks more like a warrior than like a a frilly prince. I don't know. I, mean, I like it. That was something it's because he has an English voice now. Well, that too. We didn't even talk about that yet. Yeah, he has an English voiceover now. So I'm wondering if they're going to have a language toggle or if they're going to have multiple voice tracks no, I, or what's going to happen there. Languages. I think they just decided because of Fire Emblem Heroes, just Marth and Roy have English voices now. So just put them in. But do yeah. you think that if you're playing... So, like, I have a Japanese account on yeah, my if you play it on, on Japan, Switch. That's how it works on the, the Switch Japanese. right All now. All right, cool. Right on, right on. Cool. All right, then. Blessed well, Insight Fox Marth. also has a new voice. Yeah, he does. As well as oh, it's a Star Fox Zero game. voice, right? Huh? I'm pretty sure it is, at least. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. it is. It's, it's the same voice actor, I believe, but re-recorded, so he just sounds quite... Yeah, actually gave him better voice direction. I didn't hear any meows or anything. Yeah. <laughs> it sounded like he was gagging. Michelle Yeah. Uh, oh, I wish it sounded like that. <laughs> Dude, at CEO last year, I think I think Larry was playing, and there were like ten people just making fun of fuck. They were like, yeah, in the crowd. <laughs> like, like, you know, you <laughs> fucked up when the crowd is just memes about the character voices. You, like, it normally doesn't cool. matter. Because you hear that, and then you hear Star Fox Zero, and it's just like, what the fuck happened? Yeah. <laughs> What did y'all yeah. do? <laughs> one one random thing that I liked about Marth, and this is a really subtle thing. I mentioned this on my Twitter earlier, is that they changed his idle animation very slightly, but they kept Lucina's idle animation exactly the same as Smash Four. So, like, you don't really notice it unless you look at them side by side. But like, he, he it's a bit more. His idols are like a little bit more lively to, uh, compared to Lucina's now. So. Mm. Just a very nice, subtle visual difference between the two. Right on. I also want to point out, I'm just looking on the website now, every character we're talking about, it looks like all three of the Fire Emblem stages that were in the games before, Castle Siege, Arena Faro, and Coliseum, are all returning. Um, but there's no new Fire Emblem stage. Maybe because there's not a new Fire Emblem character. Um, I mean, we that kind of that kind of bumps me out. We haven't seen any new stages besides the Breath of Wild one and the Platoon one. For like, well, no, we saw a New Donk City yeah. in the Treehouse Live. New, yeah, yeah. New Donk City one. Oh, they did show that. I didn't see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 In Mario's video. Other than that, I saw nothing but like a returning stage and stuff. Yeah. Uh, all right, well then let's talk about Ganondorf because holy all right, luck, I'm they changed this. Ganondorf. Ganondorf is strong now. He's fast. He gets off the ground real quick. His aerial. Still, no, he's anymore, amazing. Thank God. He's amazing though. He's got a disjoint on his smash tags. He's amazing. Ganon's the boy. He's actually the boy now. He felt noticeably better during the yeah. demo. I played a lot of Ganondorf. Oh, so <laughs> noticeably better. See, I'm gonna hit you with a curveball. I think oh, Ganon. I, I think Ganon is like better, but I feel like he's still gonna get shitted on in competitive. Oh, definitely. <laughs> oh, probably. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for Absolutely. sure. Because like, because like, he's too. He, he's not slow. He's vulnerable now. So like if, he, if when I hit it, for example, Nara was playing uh, Ganon against me, and I was Sheik. I will hit him once, and he couldn't do anything. Like straight up, you have no options. And it, it, that's like day one, first match, first first match, you know. So I know for a fact, like when people are get get at the game, it's gonna look awful. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I have hope, man. I know you're the best player in the world, no, but I'm I'm keeping hope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping hope alive for my boy Ganondorf. 
I just I got it. Yeah, I not going to have time design, man. He looks so cool now. I, I am kind of bummed that it wasn't the Hyrule Warriors Ganondorf, but at the same time, this is the iconic that, one. That'll be, and it that'll represents be a that costume. era. That'll, that'll be a costume. Do you think so? You think that's going to be a DLC yeah, costume? that'll be a costume. I hope so. That'd be cool. That'd be really cool. I do not miss Twilight Princess Ganondorf at all. Oh, I'm so glad I got rid of it. Yeah, he was ugly in Smash 4. Yeah, he was awful. I'll miss I'll miss Old Man Ganon, but this design so much. Oh, old Old Manendorf, Old Manendorf was the boy, but there is Old, old Manendorf with blue. Skin. There is Old Manendorf with blue skin now. We've got blue skin Old Manendorf. So. See, am I the only one who felt it was kind of lazy that from Brawl to Smash 4 they kept all these other characters the same? I, I thought know. so too, but I'll take what I can get. They they changed Link a little bit. <laughs> Uh, young Link's in the game. Yeah. They, they didn't change. Uh, I mean, Zelda, her moves aren't different, but, you know, she's pretty different, kind of. Uh, Shofu, he said from Brawl to Smash 4. Like, oh, Smash 4 to, Smash to this. 4. Oh, oh, my bad. They've changed my quite my a bit. bit. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, with, with it, from Smash 4 to this, a lot of the characters have changed. Because even with, like, Ganondorf has the new Final Smash 2, where he has kind the Ganon of, from the really. time. I mean, I don't know. Ganondorf, just in the little bit enough, that I played. Like, I, I wasn't expecting a complete overhaul, but, like, changing a move or two here and there is not, like, what I was yeah. expecting. All of his mm. smashes having a disjoint is a big deal. I think giving him a disjoint, like, giving him a sword is a big deal. I think that matters. really. They're, they're still the same moves, essentially. No, his down, yeah, his down smash, smash has... are, like, way different. That's the thing. Uh, he's, he's got his intimidation frames back. What? What? <laughs> Anyway. Wait, guys, I can I could probably contribute for like one more character, but then I will have to go. That's fine. I know. All right, well then, what character do you want to talk about? Then we'll we'll have which, you choose. What character do you want to talk which, about? Uh, which one have you covered? We covered uh, all the first sixteen. So uh, we're on Mewtwo right now, but we haven't covered Pit, Snake, Ike, Pokemon Trainer, Sonic, Villager, Mega Man, Little Mac, Pac Man, Ridley, Inkling, Corin, Cloud, and Ryu. Uh, what does the chat want me to talk about? Because I have good input on all of them. Nice. All right. Everybody's saying Ridley. <laughs> uh, Ridley, okay. Yeah, talk okay. about Ridley, bro. Okay, I think Ridley is kind of bullshit. <laughs> like, <laughs> the man does like, stage hazard damage. To like, okay, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this, right? You know how like they said that, oh, his down B does like 60 damage, but it's hard to land? It's not hard to land. <laughs> that move is very, very easy to land. It's like it's like landing like a, like a Mars Tipper. It's, it's, it's not hard. It's, just, it's not hard. It's pretty slow, uh, though, right? It's not slow at all. Like if someone, if, if you can be edge guard and somebody land on the platform, you could just do it. You know, it's like not, it's not, it's very accessible actually. Um, and the best part about the move is that it puts you into a tech chase. So you can literally just, you can literally, ew, someone at zero, and then you could kill them. <laughs> you could <can> kill <laughs> them. It's <laughs> actually, it, it's literally a one kill, uh, one kill move at some, some, some point. Tech yeah. chase? Um, I must say his edge guard is really broken too, because like a lot of his moves have crazy range, crazy power. Um, and like, for example, when I fought Plup with Mario as Ridley, there were times where I just couldn't hit him because like I'm throwing a back air and he does anything I get hit. You know, it's like his moves and limbs are just out of control. Like I'm talking like, like it feels like Luma and shit. You know, kind of like 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 that kind of range. You know, mm -hmm. like up there. Um, and he has multiple jumps. So like, what happened a lot of the time is that I will get uh, hit by something like a straight hit, and then Plup will just chase me off the level or really, and you can't do shit. Like you can't do anything. <laughs> you can't, how many, many jumps does he have? Huh? How many jumps does he have? From my memory, I think he had three. Yeah, it was three in recovery. Three in recovery. Yeah, three in recovery, right? Yeah, uh, so like, yeah. He three. Felt, he felt doesn't put him in special fall either. Three overall or three midair ones. Mm hmm But yeah, it was it was very intimidating well, by him. And um, he does have this weird thing where his neutral B has a weak wow. spot. So if you hit him while he's doing his neutral B, you take like he takes like fifteen times more damage or some weird shit like that. Like just like a clip of this Mario. Doing like a jab when he opens his mouth for neutral B and he takes thirty damage from the from the jab and goes like flying hard. That's attention to detail right there, boy. Yeah, I think they did yeah. it from neutral like B is so sick too that like yeah it references the original attack that Ridley did in the very first Metroid with like the bouncing fire and then his side attack is from uh even it's specifically from uh Subspace Emissary in Brawl where he's like scraping Samus across the wall. Where you basically grab somebody, you land them down, and then you like fly across. The you can hit them with that in the air, and it drags them downwards as well. It's so good! It's so good. Oh they can man! Wiggle out though. You can you yeah. can mash out, so it's like Ridley's one of the coolest characters, man. I played. I think the majority of the time that I played Smash at E3, I was playing as Ridley, just because like I don't. He, I'm not a huge fan of heavy characters, 
but he just felt so fun to play to me, not just because he was new, but because of like his kit. I just think all of his special moves are really unique, and uh, I'm, I'm excited to finally play him when the game comes out. So, And his okay. final smash is amazing, Boy, where he throws a character there. against Amos' gunship and then shoots a beam out of his mouth and literally blows up the gunship. And then in the background of the stage, you see the gunship sort of like crashing. It's a nice little graphical touch, so... All right, before you go zero. Oh, he left. No. I wanted to know no, about Snake there. and I. Uh... He's muted. Oh, he's he muted. muted. Oh, no. Well, we could talk about Ike if you want to. I didn't really play Ike that much. All right. Well, then let's go back in order then. Let's talk about like Mewtwo. Mewtwo. Mewtwo yes. Nice. Mewtwo's good. He Mewtwo is feels fast. Nice. As, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure he's not any faster than he was in Smash 4, but the, the way the game is. His, yeah. his initial dash is really quick, and then he can do stuff out of his dash, so he just felt so smooth. Bro, when I saw Mewtwo combo fully charged Shadow Ball into running down to I was like, nah, this character's filthy. <laughs> <laughs> his confusion feels different to me, too, because one of the regular uh, combos that I like to do is like confusion into a, into a down smash, and it was really good and super easy to pull off. And yeah, that was the character I was talking about earlier where I said that he felt just like a faster version of what was already good. I like Smash 4 Mewtwo. Um, so it just felt like he's too. better. He feels so nice. <laughs> yeah, he feels His great. His air is so satisfying. Mm -hmm. I love him. Mewtwo's cool. Any other thoughts on Mewtwo from anybody who played him? So the teleport um... characters, at least from what I hear from Nairo, is that they can't teleport, like edge cancel with their teleports right now. In that build, anyway. Hmm. They also crazy. still. I tried to do that a couple times and I couldn't do it. <laughs> they also still ricochet off of surfaces. Really? I th I was about to say I thought I saw Zelda's actually finally ride a wall. Nah, they still ricochet. Well, Zelda's gonna be ass again. Wait, Except she because is privilege. You don't know if Zelda's gonna be ass. Because your recovery is not going to work half the time. It's just going to fucking bounce off the wall. Like what are you now. talking about? You have to like I mean, Zelda players are out here bouncing just, off walls all the time. They adjust. Just recover a different angle. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And you can side B now too without dying. You can you, you can figure it out. Zelda players figured it out. Can't say Zelda going to be asked because of that. The fuck? That's not why Zelda was bad in the first place. Uh, we talked about Pit a little bit, so we'll skip Pit because I don't think. There's really anything else to say. I think we brought up everything earlier. Uh, let's talk about Snake. Snake. Let's talk about he Snake. Really oh, that's cool. the character I was most shocked to actually come back. Oh, man. Uh, he feels identical. To me, he feels identical to Brawl. Like, just, yeah, he felt very game, similar to me, too. Yeah. The game's changed, so the game's a bit faster. But other than that, he just feels like the same character. Didn't they well, I like his new, his new Final Smash is cool. Where it has like the little auto reticle with all the different missiles, you're no longer like hanging from the front of the screen. I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, what were you gonna say, Warchat? They fixed his up tilt. Yeah, it's yeah. not as big. Yeah, it's yeah, so big. not half the stage anymore. No, yeah. it's not janky anymore. It's pretty goddamn strong though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's still very strong. Look, as long as it can't scoop you from the other side of the stage and kill you at seventy, it's good. We're fine. Yeah. I think we're gonna see a lot of snake players again, oh, just what? from like. <laughs> From playing this A3, so many people were picking Snake, and so many people were actually pulling off kind of cool things with him um, because he's very similar to Brawl. But it's like, I've always liked Snake as a character. I think he's really going to do well competitively. I'm excited to see uh, how things play out for him. What's his down smash now? It's like a, it's like a, like a, like a, like a kick like. back and forth. It's yeah, kind of, kind of like Falcon. It's kind of shitty. So oh, so you're still here, Zero. Perfect, because uh, Shofa wanted to ask you about Snake and Ike. Uh, Ike way faster, way better, different upper, better, just just better in general, just way better. No grab combos, but everything better. Uh, up snake uh, up air. I saw some. I saw a couple combos. Um, well, you can upper upper. Uh, what I'm saying, no grab combos, grab combos. He has yeah, no 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 true combos. I don't I don't grab. Um, Snake, Snake was kind of buggy. What Nintendo told me is that uh, Snake was kind of buggy in general. So like, there were a lot of things that didn't make sense to me. So, for example, I feel like every time I hit him out of Cypher, it was inconsistent what threw him out of the Cypher. For example, mm -hmm. I was like, I was like, okay, Bouncy Fish throws him off, but then, like, ba my back hair doesn't, but then my neutral does. It's just like, what the fuck, dude? It just makes, like, no <laughs> sense. You know, it's like weird shit like that. Um, a snake, a snake is good, but once you hit him, you should kill him. Like, straight up. So, I think he's going to be one of those characters that, like, it's going to be good for, like, a year, and then people are going to get better edge guarding eventually, and then he's going to fall, fall down, fall down, just like in Brawl.
I think that's gonna that's gonna, gonna be it. Um, nonetheless, though, I gotta go, guys. But that's yeah. I hope you guys take care. Right. Yep, you right on. Thanks, Thanks for dropping right, by, Zero. Yeah. Take care, guys. Bye bye. Thank you. See you. All right. Right on. Uh, well, while we're while we're talking about Snake and Ike, then still too, is there anything else you guys notice with Ike? I like that Wait, he has both uh, the Path of Radiance. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Something I'm... else with Snake, real fast. I'm talking to Nairo. Is that uh the grab down throw seems to be different? So like, there's like the flashing effect when you grab someone in this game that like indicates re grab. Nairo was saying that like when you grab down throw someone with Snake and they like do an option to stand up. When they stand up, they're still flashing. So you can't like tech chase like in Brawl and just re grab them. God bless. That makes sense. Right I mean, but you, you still got other options, though. If you know where they're going, you can probably dash attack or up tilt. Is that it? Yeah, that was it. All right, cool. Let's talk about Ike, then. Anything else in regards to Ike? I swear to God, I Lost saw people it. doing down throw up air with Ike and down throw Okay, so yeah, yeah I, I want to talk yeah, about Ike. Yeah, I did too. I, 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 I swear I saw this. it. <laughs> there was a there was a thread on Smashboards and people were talking about like Ike's new frame data and like looking at his new animations and people were saying you can't do like up throw up air anymore, but someone was saying that you can do down throw up air now. Ew. Yeah, I, I, saw, I definitely saw some throw combos. Yeah, so like you can't do his like old school up throw up air, but you can still combo off of down throw apparently. Uh, uh, one you? thing that I noticed that I think not very many people pointed out. Is that the super armor on Aether seems to start earlier than it used to? Because in before it was very not useful because it started really late, but now it seems to start at a reasonable frame. So if characters try to come down on top of Ike as he starts his recovery, he can actually power through that. His recovery is still bad though, since he doesn't sweet spot the ledge, and I don't think he still. I think he still doesn't grab the ledge backwards from Aether either. Really? Yeah. I... I don't know. It's it's he's never had good recovery, so expecting him to have great recovery now it's like man. not not great, but like slightly better. Like being able to grab he's the ledge lot, backwards. I would think be he's there. a lot better now. He's just strong, fast monster flying around the stage all over the place, blowing people back. I was gonna mention that eruption when you charge it, it actually goes out a distance away from him now. Mm. It create it sends out the heat wave. All right. So. Uh, are we done with Ike then? Can we move on to Pokemon Trainer? Yes, please. Hell okay. yeah, boy. Yes, Pokemon please. Trainer is awesome. They fixed Pokemon Trainer. You could basically switch between them freely now. Yeah. Basically, you could main Squirtle. He switches and if Pokemon, you're in a situation, he Pokemon so fast. Yeah, and if so, fast. so, you could main one of these three characters, and then if you're in a situation where the matchup's bad, you could just be like, "All right, I'm in a secondary one of these other guys," and there's no hindrance whatsoever you could just play that character they don't get weaker they don't get slower there's nothing you could just play squirtle the entire time and it's yeah. fine i love it yeah there's no yeah the the whole fatigue mechanic was so dumb so I, i'm i'm of the mind that pokemon trainer is going to be competitively very good very good based yeah. on all the footage that I, I've I seen. watch people comboing um, people that character like yeah, comboing yeah. with one of the pokemon the, switching mid combo and then continue and then yeah. switching to the other one yeah it's so good the general the general flow chart will be early percent you always start with squirtle because he's the fastest a lot of his shit he has <coughs> super good frame data in the air so he's going to beat out a lot of the other characters uh in the air it looks like from what i've seen and then mid percent you're gonna you want Ivysaur because Ivysaur actually can kill a lot more reliably now, which is awesome. Um, or you can go to Charizard for recovery because the Charizard's obviously the best of three in terms of recovery. Like Charizard also kills super quick. Yeah, so you you have all your not I don't want to say you have a lot of matchups covered, but you have every situation covered in one character. You know, if you whiff Ivysaur's up B, you can then switch to Charizard yep. and up B. Yep. That's so stupid. And, and like it's just, but the pro not the problem, but the thing about the character is that Pokemon Trader has never been a pick up and play character. And now, because mm. you essentially have to learn three characters to play the one. Yeah. yeah. So I think that character went, once that character gets, like, I think that character will do nothing for the first like, six months. And then, like, after that, what? when people figure out how to play You're the character. Nah, that's that. wrong. That's wrong. Nah, because, no, 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 that's nah, wrong. Think, nah, because think... the character, you can still solo main the other three. Right. So, as a whole, like, Squirtle, for example, individually, is still a very solid character, even without the other two. Uh, Charizard, 
that character definitely felt overall better compared to the previous incarnation. Um, I can't really say too much about Ivysaur as a whole, as how the character's going to fare early on. But I still think even without the dynamic of understanding the Switch, uh, the solo characters could still do pretty well, I think. I, 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 just, I just think that there are a lot of other characters, ba- again, based on everything that we've seen, that are a lot more familiar to a lot of the players who are competitively slated to do well early on in the first six months. Characters like Cloud, characters like Mario, characters like, you know, uh, obviously not, I was going to say Fox, but not really. But like a lot, a lot of these other characters, Mewtwo is a character that I think is going to do very well. Yeah. Like uh, these, a lot of the characters that people have already played forever that are just either as good and or better, I think are just going to do well very early on. While a lot of the older characters like Snake, like Pokemon Trainer, like Wolf, who, if they're good, people haven't played them in forever. So it's going to take them a little bit, a little longer to be good. But, I mean, I could totally see someone making it. He talking way too much. <laughs> <laughs> just, I, just, I, think, I think Squirtle is super good, honestly. Yeah, I Squirtle's well still taking souls. I mean, the fact that you can play Squirtle and switch to Charizard to get KOs is, is crazy. Was it Armada that was playing Pokemon Trainer during the invitation? Hey, wait, wait, yeah. Yeah. one sec, one sec. Jay Woods, thank you for the host, man. Appreciate you, bro. Continue with what you were saying. I just had the yeah. What when I was watching him play, he was he was mainly using Ivysaur, and Ivysaur looked really good during that entire invitation. Yeah, yeah. Which he was, was good, fucking up. I love buddy. Ivysaur. <laughs> I think it was. was I think it was. Up, I think the Ivysaur fair was. It was like either super. I forget which one it was. Either super long or. Um, um super fast but he was using it a uh, lot it's, it's, it's long it's, it's quite long, slow right? but it's it it, it hits it in the, yeah, yeah it's got a crazy box. to me is when i was playing pokemon trainer i just sort of felt like the weakest of the three i IV, uh, i think is the least intuitive of the three yeah like, uh, yeah he certainly didn't good. seem like the weakest though i well, feel like i didn't get to see any other pokemon played like i literally only saw i footage so like I saw a little bit of Charizard stuff on Twitter, but I can't really gauge the differences. Fair enough. Squirtle seems super, super good. He's so quick. Yeah. Does he still have like Mario's his so like great. brawl uh, move kit? His dash yeah. was throwing me off. Bro. Yeah. I thought I shielded when uh, I was playing Viram in uh, you know, Smash One v One. Every time he dashed towards me, I shielded because it looked like, it looks like an attack to me, and he just grabbed me for free. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what move it was, it was, but it just seemed like, like an attack. But he, um, I liked the Ivysaur as well. I liked all three of them. I'm, yeah. I'm curious to see how they'll work together. Now, could you, like, let's say you're off stage with Charizard and you up B. You can't recall after you're in special fall, right? No. Okay. Uh, so, basically, um, you maintain however many jumps you have. Uh, upon switching. So if you have your mid-air jump with any of them, you keep your mid-air jump. If you have, uh, if you use your double jump with, say, Ivysaur and you swap to Charizard, you get one jump because obviously Charizard has two mid-air jumps. Mm -hmm. Um, If you've used one jump with Charizard and you switch to Squirtle, he has no jumps. Mm. Do you lose lose any, like, vertical um, height when you switch? Or does it just stay at the same coordinate? Uh, you still experience your regular sort of full speed and gravity. Mm-hmm. So if you jump up and then switch, you'll still you'll start falling. Okay. I'm, I, I'm really excited for Pokemon Trainer. I'm very happy they brought. Is this there back. a delay for switching? It's very quick. Like it's intangibility yeah, is no, 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 really no. really fast, and it's I not like this... it's I not like Brawl where Who's yeah, it's not like Brawl where is, they have to kind of learn the character. What? Yeah. Huh? Stop scraping your bowl, boy. Fat ass eating in the hey. call. It's not scraping anything. Hello? He's lying. It sounded Who's like you were eating ice eating cream. Cereal. Somebody definitely yeah, eating something. Definitely I'm not eating anything. He got a nah. whole bowl of frosted flakes. Oh, we're getting that chocolate syrup at the bottom. Are you kidding me, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not eating anything. Someone was. I thought it was you. It sounded like it. Uh, oh, I'm not. I'm not talking about scraping on a plate or bowl. I'm not talking about the swap okay. itself. I mean after swapping. Like if I'm on Charizard, can I oh. swap twice really fast? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's fairly wait quick. between swaps? It's a short wait. It's not very long. It's okay. It feels quicker than Brawl. Cool. Like the lag after the swap. 
cool. Because like if if I want to main Charizard and I die and I come out with whoever's next Squirtle, can I like swap Ivysaur's swap Charizard it's super fast in, during? during <laughs> yeah, you, you can do definitely it have enough quick. time to switch while you're invincible. No, no doubt. Yeah. Wait, does it do that I still? Where you die, you... it forces you to the next Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. I wish it yes. would do that. It does do that. I want to know if you can like actually main a single Pokemon. Yeah, you should be able to. Uh, it is Im- it is hmm. impossible unless you don't die. It is impossible to play one Pokemon for the entirety of the match. No, no, no but I you. but I mean when it auto swaps you to the net, like when you respawn. My question was if there's like a gap between switching twice. So like, like, oh, like bro, if, if I die as Charizard, it switches me back to Squirtle. Can I like with my invincibility time switch Ivysaur, switch Charizard, like during seems, invincibility? Oh, like probably. It. I mean, it, yeah. like, the switching felt really fast to me. It's pretty quick. Because like bro, we were talking about that time, earlier, dude. is you could you could basically <laughs> combo as Squirtle, switch very quickly mid combo, and go right into right. Ivysaur. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's can, super fast. I, you I know see the swap it in the trailer. Go watch it. No, no, I know the swap itself is fast. I just wanted to know if they put. A uh, restriction a on the swap between using a unlike... second one. Yeah, because like no. oh, I see. it's no. a really fast swap. So like, if they didn't put a restriction, you could literally just like spam down B, and you're only going to be like yeah. vulnerable for like a few frames. I think I think you can. Oh. Yeah. All right. In fact, I think I did that. I'll go back and look at footage that I recorded, but I'm pretty sure I did that. Because I didn't want to play as Charizard. I only wanted to play as Squirtle and Ivysaur. Because I figured I've played as Charizard enough, so. One minor thing, too, by the way. This has nothing to do with Pokemon Trainer. This is just like a random thing. Uh, it has to do with Greninja. I'm curious. Do you guys think that we're going to get Ash Greninja as his new Final Smash? Because I went on the website, and no. there's no picture whatsoever of his old Final Smash. And in his little character trailer, there's no footage of his Final Smash either. Well, they got rid of all the transformation smashes. So if it is, it'll be like Ash Greninja comes on and just fires one water shuriken and then changes back. Well, yeah, yeah, well... Yeah, but Greninja never had a transformation one to begin with. He would do the little thing where like he flips up the mat and then he no, like know. shadow slashes in the Okay, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, think he's get, I don't think it's is... gonna be like a transformation thing. Yeah, I was just thinking like if he would do the ultra water shuriken or something. Maybe. Maybe. I, yeah, maybe. I hope so. That'd be cool. Uh all right, well moving on. Who's next? Sonic. Nope. What do you guys have to Get say him. about Sonic? Skip. No, 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 you don't have to skip him. So, big thing with Sonic now, it's only with Fox 2. When he spin dashes into his shield, he stops. Yeah, he stops right in front of you if you <coughs> grab him for free. <clears throat> yep. And he can't shield while it's charging spin dash anymore. Good. So he can't just run away and camp and, and bait you towards him. Side B is a commitment every time, though. Is that also, it for Sonic? Uh, on his homing attack, there's now a reticle on who he's going to hit. More as like, in, like the Pikachu, Ness, a B kind of thing. Yeah. And his dash attack is now a single hit instead of a multi-hit. Also, uh, forward throw and up throw don't kill anymore. So he just has back throw. Apparently, um, Fox and Sonic stopping on shields, both of them, is a bug. No, I don't see. Uh, like, here's the thing. I don't think it's a bug because if you look at the Falco trailer, Falco does this. Like Ike does counter. Ike's trailer. Yeah, it's Ike's trailer. Thank you. Ike does counter. Falco sidebees into it and it stops and falls. So yeah. I don't think that's a bug. It looked. I don't know if it, they would show a, hold on, hold on, hold on, a hold bug on. in a trailer, you know? Okay, yeah. I'll tell you right now, Robin's trailer has uh, the fucking Levin Sword turning invisible after Thorin. There's straight up bugs in those videos. Oh my god. No, but like, they highlighted that with Ike. It's not like something that's like, oh, They highlighted it with there. Robin. No, no, but that's <laughs> no, because no. she used it was, Thorin. This it was different. literally, it was literally, if you watch Ike's trailer, it's literally like yeah, he the does most a, obvious thing. He does a jab combo on Falco. Falco mashes side B. Ike counters. He sto- hits it, stops, falls to the ground. Ike hits him with counter. I'm going to look this up. Pull it I, up, I, have, I, have, I have the trailer right now. Give me I'm going to look at this video. Okay. I'm looking at Robin's right now. What uh, At what point do you see the invisible Levin sword? It's at the very end of Robin's. Uh, she, okay. she so she does Thorin and she like tosses the sword. Oh in yeah, the air I see and it. it spins, okay, yeah, yeah. And yeah, it I turns invisible it. while spinning, and then she catches yeah. the invisible sword. Yeah, I see it. I see it. So like, there's there's definitely imperfections in these videos. Uh, it's so, at the very start of likes. Yeah, I see it. Um, it's possible counters are supposed to be a wall and shields aren't supposed to do that. I, I don't Maybe. know. They seem very deliberate. Whenever you see like when playing that they hit like it's not in like. A weird animation. They literally just stop. Did you see it? You saw it, Warchamp? Yeah, I looked up. That is face. exactly what happens when Fox hits a shield on his side B. <laughs> yeah. It's the exact same I can, thing. I can understand it being, like, intended behavior for a counter. Where did we, like, 
where did it come from that it was a bug for Sonic? That was the chat, like six different people in the chat. I feel like people just said that. So where did he, he actually say that though? I never saw. Yeah, I, never saw I didn't hear him say that either. Where did he actually say that? People are saying that, but I don't. I can't find any documentation I, anywhere. I saw lots of people talking about like how you couldn't go through people that were shielding. And yeah, that that's shielding the thing. also. Where did he say it was a shielding? Bug? Yeah, that's what I. That's like I haven't heard that from anything. So like that's why it was weird for you guys to bring this up, and I was trying to come up with reasons why that might be the case. But like apparently, an Nintendo it rep said it about the shield, like multiple people saying that. But where? Huh? Yeah, yeah. I need I need a reference from someone. Yeah, no, I, I, I need I need, I need receipts. I I need like a reputable Smash player tweeting a Nintendo rep said it's a bug. Yeah. Not, not like Twitch chat saying a Nintendo rep said it. Twitch chat can say a Nintendo rep said anything. <laughs> Fucking. Yeah. Uh, I could go on a Twitch chat and say a Nintendo rep said I'm going to be in Smash Bros. It doesn't it's, make it true. It's, and I, I will say it seems like intended behavior. Just like, like I was trying to come up with reasons why it's not. But the right. fact that shields don't let you go through them seems like intended behavior. Because if you look at any of the videos that we have for it, when you're shielding, there's like dust spewing out of you. Like 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 wind as if like you're like a wall and like pushing stuff away like it Fair you're not enough. just like standing there in shield there's like dust like the the smash dust whoa like whoa out of you. oh hold on a minute i i'm watching shofu stream and they just showed fox's video crystals and assist trophy yes yeah, oh yeah so what yeah so i actually want to talk about this like after we finish characters uh shofu has run this video a couple times now and i took down notes for a few things and wow was, like, crystals, that is crystals, awesome crystals and assist trophy so she's deconfirmed yoshi's up b like bounced off the ground in his video yeah yeah he could throw his eggs and bounce them off the ground now uh little mac and like, oh my god okay, it's like well, crystal well, from well, Star Fox adventures crystal it's not like the weird yeah. Star Fox assault Bane Crystal or whatever from Star Fox Command. Yo! Yeah, so she's deconfirmed. Like, Holy we'll And Mac then Roman. Little Mac and Roy. No, no, we'll get to Little Mac. We'll get to Little Mac. Yeah, Little yeah. Mac. Zekrom, I saw Zekrom in the chat said, did Roger even watch anything? Dude, I was at E3. I was playing it. I didn't watch like half of these yet. So I'm, I'm just like seeing some of these for the first time now. And oh my God. Little Woo! Mac and Roy can both reverse their neutral B. I love this. Dang, I got to watch all these trailers. These are good. Every, pr probably every single character's trailer has like one interesting thing to see, at least. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, the oh, combo <laughs> at the beginning. I was like, why? Dude, I love the Jigglypuff rest combo in her trailer. That was so disgusting. Where she throws Ness that, in the launch yeah, star the and then he yeah, the, the rest. Then, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jigglypuff's disgusting. rest. Really strong oh, yeah. again. A couple of things we didn't mention on Marth. We didn't mention that he can uh, angle Shield Breaker upwards. Shield break yep. Oh, yeah. And we also didn't mention that Fox, there was a video on Treehouse where Fox used Reflector. Sonic hit with an S. No, that's been, uh, that's been, no. that's been debunked. Okay, what was it? Sonic, he had, uh, he uh, had Fox dropped down from the platform and uh, he used Shine and then he dropped his Shine and then he brought it back up again and it just pushed Sonic back. It just looked weird because the Shine's a lot faster. What what frame was Shine in Smash Four? Six, five. right? Frame five. It was it was five. slower, yeah. So it came back up so quick that I didn't realize that he had even dropped it in the first place. Yeah, it just the, looks weird. Reason, it, that the, the... that GIF was bad quality as well. It's from the stream. I saw the stream, and the actual clip that it happened in, and it, it didn't look anything like it did in that GIF. Yeah, the first F Smash hits Fox with spawn invincibility. Yeah, right after he drops right. the Shine, then he brings it right back up and pushes it yeah, away. He... Just looks kind of weird. He, he, he just taps shine and then shine ends and he shines again. Yeah. And he has spawn invincibility, which is why the S smash doesn't hit. It's not a reflect. It's the, it's not a counter. All right. We we were going all over the place with that discussion, but we left off on Sonic, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. Cool. So next up is villager. villager. Any changes to villager? Just just the UI changes uh, is the big one to be, uh, from what I've seen. Oh, we could see what you're pocketing. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah, that's, that's pretty just, cool. I guess one of those quality of life changes that like isn't. That is really good to have, even though it doesn't change anything fundamentally about the character. Kind of like Cloud. Yeah. So his it's like jab. He... His jab is a rapid jab with a finisher now, yeah. rather than the the constant one two. Yeah. Good. Oh, that's something yep. we forgot. Okay, so Zelda's jab kills. Zelda now has a rapid jab and it kills. We didn't mention that. Oh yeah, Zelda's mm. rapid jab kills. Uh, what? Pretty, it's pre it was pretty high up. Zelda seems pretty good now. Zelda seems yeah. really. 
Yeah, Zelda seems much better in this than she did in Smash 4. Oh yeah, I had a really inconsequential thing I wanted to talk about with Zelda. Okay. Her, her fucking cape seems like it was added very last minute. Zelda's it's, cape? Her cape. Yeah, it, it, it's... It's, like, uh... it's like a single color, it's got the Hyrule emblem on it, and it clips through here all the fucking time. Yeah. Like, her huh. animations weren't made with it in mind at all. And, like, Smash is a physics engine, so it's expected it's going to clip sometimes, but it's, like, it's clipping all the time. Like, it seems like they tacked it on. Also, I'm, I'm looking, I just saw the Pichu one. I know Pokemon Stadium 2 has been confirmed to come back, but is the original Pokemon Stadium, has that been confirmed to come back, I too? I think they did confirm it, yes. Okay, good, good, good. I'm telling you, every stage. I don't know. I still don't believe that every single stage is coming back. I think they're going to bring back most of them. I but I would just, like, I'd be pretty upset if they brought back Pokemon Stadium 2 and not the original. There's only like back 29 of this thing at this point. So they, if they really wanted to put them in, they could. I can't yeah. wait for Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2 to have different blast zones and for the community to fight about which one should be legal with hazards off. And there it is. <laughs> just play one. Just play one. Which one, Roger? How are you going to pick? I'm saying one. Pokemon Stadium won the first oh, one. Okay, it's the class. No, I wasn't. I wasn't trying to make. That's a joke. the ugly one. No. <laughs> I like it though. What are you talking about? It's great. Uh, that's it's the got ugly the classic one. saturated colors. I think the ugly one is the one from Brawl. I hate that one. Uh, oh, you know what? A nice arena. They're not going to bring back every stage. Why do you say that? How do you toggle off hazards on Poke Floats? The stage is a hazard. I mean, <laughs> you just like easy. You, you just have Pokemon one balloon. Free. Yeah, you just stay on Squirtle. How do you? You're just going to fight on Whooper the whole time? I guess so. I'm cool Definitely. Yeah, I'm Doom will love that. Yeah, I, I did that for Virum. <laughs> what would the Battlefield version of Hokey Flows look like? Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be Whooper's head, and the platforms are just gonna be its horns. I'm curious what the stage hazardless version of uh, Electroplankton will be. That <laughs> when you basically when you hit the little uh, the little buds that they just don't move anymore. Yeah, I guess they so it's just move. the same music over and over again. Yeah, so we could talk the the stage select UI uh, when they were when like the pictures they've shown it said normal at the top. I'm thinking that might be like hazardless, so that just might be a list of stages that can have hazards so, turned off. So it I think the same like, thing, but I played on like two different setups where like or two different lines at E3, and there was another list. There was like a little icon in the top corner where it was like a platform with a slash through it, and I thought that was hazardless. Yeah, I think they explained it in the tree house. Hazards are definitely mm. on in normal. In normal, hazards are definitely on. Okay. I'll put it that way. Bullet bills were flying all over the place. Like normal. Yeah, because I on. I know the build that Treehouse was using. They uh, JC said at one point that the build they're using just has hazards turned off. They don't have like a toggle for it. And that right. was actually like when we got hazard toggle confirmed because it hadn't actually been yeah. stated anywhere. Yeah, that that right there with David oh, yeah. showed. While we're on the topic, hey, Duncan, remember E3 2014 when we were there and we were looking at, like, the notes for, like, Nintendo's uh, uh, people? But, okay, Nintendo's people were taking notes, and one of the notes that we actually saw was, like, Battlefield versions of every stage, and they actually did it for this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That and was what, crazy. And the notes that they had was, like, suggested things from people that had been suggested loads of time. And Dominic and I spied the list, and he'd literally written down Battlefield version of every stage. <laughs> Here we are, four I years later. I can't believe they did that. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm there's like 90 it. stages in the game. All right, guys, it's time to move the goalposts once again. Next game, we need Pokemon Stadium versions of every stage. <laughs> nah, 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 next game, we no, need uh, do Smash Bros. Uh, City. Don't you think it's Town crazy that they added Smash all those stages and, and they're going to have to design Final yeah. Destination and uh, Battlefield yeah, versions of every single I'm game. happy, though. I think Sakurai, he brought it up earlier. He's like, listen, it's I have all of this amazing music, and you guys listen to the same shitty songs over over and over again play on a battlefield version enjoy that crisp xenoblade music please i don't want to put all this work into all these new songs and have you guys not listen to it so, so please honestly battlefield versions of every stage isn't a ton of work because they're already making the fd versions they literally just yeah, take just like the fd platform and just make a platform well, i'm and just a lot saying of these in general i'm not saying that platform. part i'm just saying the fact that they have to go and now take the hazards of all, off all these stages and make FD versions of all these. Like, there's so many more stages than in Smash 4. It yeah. also looks like, too, they are the... Uh, one thing I noticed, too, is that the 
battlefield versions of every stage look like they are the same dimensions. Yes. So hopefully they don't have like the, yeah. oh, that's so good. They specifically stated that they're oh, all Oh, that's so good. All the FD versions will be identical and every battlefield stage will be identical. Thank goodness. Yeah, they're, they're doing it right this time. Yeah, there was too much to learn last time because it's like, oh, this this FD stage has these blast zones and this one has these blast zones. And right, this right. Has... It's like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, Sakurai heard us, but he wasn't listening. <laughs> It's better this way. Uh, they they just want a flat version of every stage. Okay, fine. Speaking of blossoms, I like the little like uh, the mini map. Put, uh, yeah, I love that mini map. Oh yeah, the little map is cool. That's the mm. that's a spectator feature more mo like for the most part. How many it's characters do we have left? One, two. A lot. I think I think it's useful Eight? for the players too though. Eight. Okay. It's definitely a row and a quarter. For the players, so you can see how close you came to dying. <laughs> yeah. Man, it's, it's really a, cool it's when a, they. Uh, when they played on Mario Galaxy, you actually saw in the mini map the blast zone was actually warped. It was curved, yeah. Oh, huh. Yeah, they would be. That's interesting. We talked about Mega Man a little bit, but is there anything else that we uh we skipped past? Or could we I just move right on a little bit? Wasn't it I like shit. pellets went farther, I thought someone said. I remember hearing up tilt head like Oh Leaf like Shield! That. Leaf Shield does feel different. Leaf Shield, Leaf Shield oh, does feel different. Yeah, Leaf Shield shoots on its first. own, and then he said uh, forward air has less lag, so he can combo, like, he said he could do forward air up smash on the ground. Also, that forward air kills now. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Uh, well, then, moving on to Little Mac. Any changes to Little Mac, or does he feel okay. pretty much the same no, 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 no. This character, this character is going to be an early game detriment. And let me tell you why. Okay, first, okay. Let's, let's, hear it. let's hear it. First, no, no, no. First of all, you have the obvious thing where his recovery is better now because he can act out. Of, he can uh, when he does the side B in the air, it doesn't put him helpless anymore. He gets one side B per air time. So if he gets hit, he can't side B anymore. But his recovery is better. But the real thing that makes his character better is the system mechanics probably work better for Mac than any other character in this game because. In Smash Four, the character you know he's meant to have this amazing ground game, but his fast ground movement options, so like his dash and his run, they were high commitment. So like he couldn't really run into you. He had to spend a lot of time just walking in order to keep access to his good ground attacks. But now he can just run at you from across the stage and start jabbing on your shield, down tilting on your shield, you know, starting combos with safe moves. And honestly, yeah. it's, it's kind of yep. nuts. He's going to fuck he you up. He doesn't have to commit anymore. He can dash, he can dash without committing, and that's correct. Mm -hmm. But Lil Mac, he also benefits from the fact that you do more damage in one games are faster because you already did huge damage in knockback, so it just exaggerates that even further. I think I think that also the the ability to do tilts out of out of dashing is really good yeah. for Lil Mac because you can yeah. you can you can space like down tilt is now a more reliable spacing tool because you're allowed to move and down tilt at the same time. They said his down tilt and tilt are safe them. on shield too. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. oh, oh, you can dash oh. past them, turn around, and immediately down tilt. Well, Ew. dashing past shield is harder for now at least. Yeah. You can also do stuff like, uh, like if you get them into sort of like a knockdown, you can just tech chase ridiculously well with down smash because it covers both sides and has super armor to cover get up attack so yeah no and of course you could do the fucking hail mary uh, hail mary side b off stage to edge guard yeah. that's funny and then you can still you can still jump back because you keep yep. jump don't you mm -hmm. so side b off get, stage jump back and then up b to get back to stage yeah the only, uh, oh, uh, one of the bad things that they did, well, it's not really bad, it's actually kind of a good thing. Uh, not for Mac, but in general. Uh, KO Punch is like Cloud's oh. Limit, where it has a 15 second timer. Mm. Oh, oh. Nice. okay. Oh, right, wait, but... so once you get it, you've only got 15 seconds to use it? Yeah. But can you still do the little Mac cheese where you just hold jab and mash B with your back to ledge? I don't know. Who knows? Damn it. That was my favorite cheese in that whole game. You only get to do it once on any person in your life. This KO Punch also hits higher. Like, it looks like it hits through platforms now. So, like, you Ooh. can't really He does the jump great. Him. Yeah, the other one is, um... You can reverse his B now. So it's actually might actually be a move that gets used. Yeah. You can cancel Not only, oh, the shield, too. Yeah, that's, I think, that's the big that's one. The so, like, versus a yeah. character... Versus a character, like, Sheik. When she's trying to like, I don't know, keep you in the air or fare you, 
you use the early armor from the neutral B uh, to land fairly safely, and then just shield cancel and Ooh, reset to I neutral. Just, I, yeah, I was watching the, the videos running on Shofu's stream. Did Little Mac fucking like jump for this KO punch? Yes. Is that like, yeah, he's, yeah, he does. Yeah, does. Yeah. He does. Yeah, no. That man's like dragon punching. Yeah, it's a, it's yeah. a sure you can, though. It's basically a sure you can, yeah. Like, the height he hits Ganon is above the platform, so it's pretty <laughs> high up. <clears throat> That's scary. Yeah, oh, oh, I watched it again. Oh, he's, <laughs> this man's scooping. Little Mac is literally the reason why I don't have one of those medals. It's because uh, one guy was playing with Little Mac, the other guy was playing with Ike, and they were just like farming kills off of each other. I hated it. Yeah, but... we got that a lot. Oh, well. He was actually farming kills off of our boyfriend. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, well. And then Shofu denied her her medal. Well, there you go. Huh? Uh, who's next? We have, uh, oh, Pac-Man. Actually, I have something to say about Pac-Man. Pac-Man felt worse to me. Because I played a lot oh, of Pac-Man in Smash that's 4. That's impossible. No, he yeah, felt he worse to me. He felt weaker and he felt slower. What? He felt slower and he felt weaker to There's me. There's no way he felt slower in this game. He <laughs> felt slower because the rest of the game, the rest of the game feels faster. And he feels like how he felt in Smash 4 and so he feels slower. But is his grab still ass cheeks? No. no, it's much faster. No, no, it's better. His grab is better. Then how is he worse? What are you talking about? He's weaker. About? <laughs> All he just feels and he much can jab his weaker. Water, so he doesn't have to jump. All of his jabs feel weaker. A lot of his attacks feel weaker. Seem like they're faster to charge. Like I don't, I don't know how he could feel worse. I don't know. He well, just someone felt, in the he chat said Sinji said he's literally better in every way, and that that well, man is a Pac God, bro. I'm gonna trust the judgment then. I I would play Pac Man occasionally in Smash Four. I liked it. But based you on the match that I bro? played with Pac-Man, he felt worse. <laughs> but all right, I'll take it. This man is saying he's better, then I'll take it. I mean, I don't know. I didn't even play Pac-Man, but I'm just assuming that he's. there's no way he feels slower in this game. Every character feels faster in this game. I, yeah, I think that's why he felt slower to me, though, is because everybody feels faster. Because he feels, to he me, extraordinarily similar to Smash 4. Hmm. I don't know, man. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, next up, who's after Pac-Man? Ryu! He got a very important buff. He's the only character that walks backwards. He'll always face his opponent. And that's a really important buff with the way his mechanics work with Street Fighter inputs and all of that. It makes me much more confident in playing him as a Street Fighter player. Like, mm. even more than before, he's going to play like Street Fighter Ryu. Because he always faces his opponent, which means you can never get your inputs wrong. Like before, I'd be on the right of them, and I'd input, and I'd actually do like a <laughs> Shoryuken when I'm trying to do Tetsu or whatever, like just because. I mean, I don't, I don't yeah, think that's the most important no, part of that. No back air, no. Well, let's hear like what do you think is the most important part. Him always facing his opponents. I mean, he he can't get crossed up. First of all, you can't jump over his shield and hit him in the back. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's a big deal. That's a really big deal. I don't even... That's kind of crazy, honestly. I never really uh, thought about it. Not necessarily, because, uh, you know, cross-ups still very much exist in Street Fighter, where that mechanic is paramount. But depending on how quickly he kind of turns in response to him, like, you shielding... Like, if he's shielding, and then you cross up his shield, will he turn no, while no, he's in, in shield? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. In, in Street Fighter, you don't turn around when they're in the air. You turn around when they land on the ground behind you. Yeah. If it's like, so like if they it, do, I, I don't really, know, I didn't really pay attention to see if it's like that in, in this game. But you may uh, still be able to cross up Ariel versus him. Like when he unshields, he faces you again. I know one video I saw from Gamer. He was Ryu and he was on a platform with someone below him, and Ryu did like the falling off the ledge animation backwards because he turned around to face the person. Yeah, he was in his teeter animation, and it, it turned him around, so he was teetering with his back to the ledge. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. it's a, it's just a bug. The, they'll either make him not go into teeter when he turns around, or they'll make it not autocorrect him when he's teetering. One of the two. It's just something they didn't think of, because it's such a minor thing. Yeah. Uh, next up, Cloud. Cloud got that nice nerf. They're only 15 seconds. And the funny thing is, he's still going to be amazing. Oh, right. yeah. Wait, does yeah, he only, keep, does he only keep limit for 15 seconds? Yep. Yeah. Yep. 
So you spend all that time building your bar and then 15 seconds. Yep. Yeah, then you got to actually use it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because before people just used the fact yeah, that... Yeah, they just charge it up your... at the beginning all the way up and then you just keep it. But now it seems like you might actually want to wanna, wanna gradually build it up to when you need it. The 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 most I outside of the killing potential and all that, which which is important, I think the most important thing that this affects Cloud is his recovery. Because the reason mm. why you would charge it up that early is because it's it almost prevent it basically nullifies your ability to get gimp. Because you have the dumbass limit up B. So it's easy for you to recover. But well, it's not just you, that; it also makes you faster and stronger while you've got it. So right, like, but I, but but talking specifically about That's about fine. the recovery, if I only have my limit for fifteen seconds, then yeah. if I'm playing against Cloud and you charge it, I count fifteen seconds and then I gimp you. Like I camp yeah. you for fifteen seconds and then I go and be on the offensive. So it allows a lot of counterplay around the limit as opposed to just okay, well now you're just a, literally a better version of what you were. And now I just have to kind of do whatever. I can't like, wait to see clouds off stage lose their limit because of the time limit and then not be able to recover. <laughs> that would That's be so funny. Be that would be funny. So Actually, they made one buff to clouds recovery though, where first of all, the second strike of uh, his up oh, yeah, comes we saw out a lot that, faster right? yeah. and it grabs ledge a lot earlier. Yeah, before okay. if you did a, a B too close to the ledge, you passed the ledge and just died. But now uh, you grab the ledge right away. Oh, okay. That's, that's yeah, that, that, that makes more sense. Uh, well, that enough might make Cloud a little bit fair. <laughs> maybe, maybe uh, this, boy, this, boy's, this boy's still going to be dash dancing around the stage. He's going to dash back with punish you with down, like turn around down tilt, and he's going to be spamming those back airs and juggling you with up airs. Is it just me, or did Nair seem like it didn't have as much range? I didn't even try it. That's what so, I heard. Honestly, I don't know. Yeah, really but I'm sure his I'm sure his uh, up air still turns the entire universe into a hitbox, so it doesn't really matter. Well, people are saying like when you're standing on the ground, he can't up air you on the ground. Oh, interesting. Oh, weird. Huh. Wait, what? Well, that's good because that up air was stupid. It was actually stupid. Maybe you won't be stupid in doubles. I don't know. I'm just saying. All right. Look, uh, Cloud would up air, and the people playing on the station next to you, their characters would get hit. It was crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? like, that dude had snakes up tilt as an, as an aerial. A bunch of people in the chat are saying, is Zeph still alive? I don't know. Exactly, bro. Uh, he, 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 he left, but he came back. He, he dipped because there was too many goddamn people. And oh, okay. He came back, and he's, he's muted now. All right, cool. He he was back for a bit. Not what can I hear PSN? I'm not sad about that one. Uh, because I'm on PSN because Yang is out and I need to play. I mute your damn screen, boy. Yang. From we're talking uh, about Smash Blood. Brothers. Why are you talking about Yang? Because we're talking about crossover video games. Yeah, but Yang. Ruby's not even good. All right. Yeah. Anyway, let's talk about Corin. He's got super. Corin in the demo. Any differences? Anything yes, her side B got hella lag, boy. Oh, you can't insta pin anymore. No, you can no. insta pin when you kick. Oh, okay. You when you kick, you slide on the ground for a couple seconds. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> even, even off platforms too. That's like the biggest change. Even when you're on a platform, landing on the on the floor below the platform, you still always have lag. That's gross. And I think that's significant because it was pretty hard to punish her for certain characters. They were too slow mm-hmm. to even reach her. She just doesn't go as far. And she doesn't go as far either. So she doesn't go as far, and she has lag. She slides on the ground. Which is good because that move was annoying. Right. It was really dumb. All right. Is that it with Corin? We talked about Bayonetta yeah. already, so there's only one character left. Inkling. 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 I feel like Inkling nice. is going to be great. Yeah. This Inkling character's really movement nice. is fucking stupid. I <laughs> oh, hate Splatoon. <laughs> I hate Splatoon, and I might still have a pocket Inkling. That character's nuts. You hate Splatoon? Why? Yeah, I really don't like it. I don't like it as a series. I just don't. Oh, jeez. I don't care for Splatoon either. I don't like. I don't <laughs> like the music. I said I don't, I don't like care. I don't hate it. I don't care for it. Y'all need to Dang. explain yourselves. Yeah, I know. I love Splatoon. I don't need what to explain heck? anything. I'm not a fucking squid kid, all right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, the character itself feels really nice in in Smash Ultimate. Should be um, the kind of guy that wouldn't boo y'all back. Huh? Say something? He's, he's talking about a Splatoon meme. It's fine. 
Let's just no, keep no, going. He's talking about man. You over here talking about four stocks and smash balls. Anyways, uh, side event. Inkling was looking kind of clean. I I like the uh, smash attacks. The fourth smash doesn't seem very strong though. It seems pretty weak. But I think it's not that strong because you're supposed to ink people up and then use it. So it seems like the moves yeah. that you hit people with are not strong because if you ink them the, up, they'll be the really strong. The more ink you have on then them, they're do a lot the more of damage, damage yeah. and not yeah, back you do. So that's that's probably Which, why that's just say, weak on its own. Real quickly. Can we also just say it's amazing the way that he implemented ink into the game? Because yeah, yeah, I certainly yeah. did not expect it to be this much of the move set. I thought it was going to be maybe is a feature where me? you have to recharge your ink, but it's amazing. Like, is it just me, or is it when there's ink on the floor? When you dash, you move faster and you turn into a yeah, squid in the ink. It's, or is it it's yeah, like absolutely. The actual, it's yeah, like it's the like actual game. game. Uh, if yeah. you cover the ink, or you cover the floor with the ink, you, ink, you move faster, but your opponent moves slower. And you move as a squid. Well, that happens anyway. You move you as actually, a squid regardless. Your dash turns into a squid. Yeah, your you, dash anyway. Your dash always. Yeah, your, your, your dash, dash is always You always move as a squid, yeah. Fair enough. Dang, I love that it has all those alternate costumes, too, with all the different designs. No, I don't know anybody who's playing anything other than Teal Seafoam Green Inkling Boy. That's hands down the best one. No, the glasses and the polka dots. You got to respect DC, man. He's claimed purple inkling. That's his now. He get that's uh, I don't want purple. Just because of that's that, fine. I'm the blue one's way better. The green one is definitely the best. Yeah, the light blue, green one, whatever. That's the best one. I agree. The fact the roll of berries as well is kind of crazy. Yeah. Apparently, it like berries it puts a in ton of ink on them and it, it berries. That's stupid. Yeah, apparently, it berries in midair too, and I'm like, what? <laughs> Why? Well, that must be a glitch. No, yeah, it's not I think a that glitch. was. A... You can side B in the air if they're on the ground. They'll get grounded by it. Yeah. It doesn't seem like yeah. a glitch at all. Oh, I thought you meant it buried them in midair and they. Oh went no, no, no! I mean, no, no, no! It drops them to the ground. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I should have oh, okay. that one yeah, a little yeah. bit better. No. That Doesn't that make it a meteor though? Doesn't that mean you can hit them off stage with it and they just? <laughs> That wouldn't make sense. Actually, yeah. that's, that's well, I don't, it's not a Probably. spike. It's not a spike. It just like it drops you. No, because if, if it, what I think of is the uh, the pitfall trap is the same the, thing. If you hit someone with it on the ground, they get buried. But if you hit them with the air, it spikes them. So yeah, I mean, it could be like Samus's up tilt. Samus's up tilt doesn't spike uh, aerial mm -hmm. opponents, but uh, it spikes grounded opponents off the ground. Who knows? Fair enough. We'll have to see. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no, Inkling's busted. I think the <laughs> mechanic of recharging ink is well balanced. Because that that jab is so difficult. I oh. took 60% from a jab. Wait, what? It's great. Ew. With Inkling, I, I was playing against somebody in a free-for-all, and they jabbed me, and I couldn't get out of it. <laughs> I took like 60%. And I was 16 in a free-for-all. Imagine 1v1. I don't know if... I don't know if I fucked up somewhere. I probably did. But... It was very hard for me to get out the jab, and it did so much damage. I love that all the smash attacks utilize different weapons in the game. Like, you've got the, uh, the ink brush for the side smash, and, like, oh, everything about that character's moveset's great. The like mobility's using, really good. I, I mentioned I mentioned the use of uh, shield and B before, and they actually oh, yeah. the yeah, yeah. for recharging your ink. I thought that's pretty cool. That, that is cool. That is cool. It, made me, it definitely made me respect it. Uh, the Splatoon franchise a lot more. Like I have a lot more respect for that franchise. Yeah. Just because of how the characters. Don't be, uh, yeah, just because the character slap bomb, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Yeah, because remember the side beat was the roller. Different throws was flat bomb though. You like press it, they just lob it, but like you can like hold it so they put it in front of them. You can hold it a different way and they like chuck it across the stage. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I saw Abadongo doing that, but I, when I was playing him, I couldn't figure out how to get it that to work. Neat. Yeah, I feel like Inklings are going to become very popular. <laughs> We're going to see a lot yeah. of Inkling mains, which is cool. That's well, fine. I, I think they're... I think Inklings. I think it's quite competitive too. It's any yeah. character that's that fast. Yeah, it's and it's fun fast. to watch. I feel like there's just certain characters that are fun to watch, and every time somebody was playing Inkling, it was it was really neat to watch. Yeah, like if you haven't seen it yet, anyone is watching, check out. There was a set between uh, Raito and Cosmos that was very good. It was Inkling versus Pokemon Trainer. Raito threw it away, man. All he needed <laughs> was his art back here. Moves hella broken. Oh, I just found it right now. They were in grand finals for the Four Glory. Yeah. Nice, I found it. That's a that's a hard fight to get the damn medal. You know, you, you got actual power rank players. Yeah. Oh yeah. Trying to get this random medal. It's like I got some of us. Like we all fought against fucking randoms. 
I beat Exarch's ass for that medal. <laughs> <laughs> just in Who real life, you just, like, you just beat him up? No, I beat him in the game. <laughs> Played Bowser. Bowser was broken in free for rolls. You just run up and up smash. Yep. Oh, that's something we Bowser didn't mention with Ganon. Bowser. A lot of his smash attacks have armor. Like, I was I, Bowser was charging down smash. I tried to jab him with Ganon, and he still hit me. Yep. I think all his smashes have armor now. All of them. Yeah. That's whack. Bowser's a good boy now. I think, Fuck did we Bowser cover everybody in the demo? Life. Yeah. I'm looking at him. I think yeah, we covered everyone. everybody in the demo. Yep. Yeah. everyone. Uh, well then, real quick before we wrap up, is there any character that you noticed a big change with that yes. was not present in the demo that you want to talk about? Yes, Oreo okay, has cool. the shoulder back kind oh, of. Oh, let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, a yeah. Different moves, man. Let's go. Wario got the shoulder dash attack, which actually I actually don't know how I feel about it because like yeah, we don't know how good it is. Cool. His old dash yeah. attack was actually his uh, Smash Four dash attack was pretty nice. Yeah, because you could you could trap at the ledge. Uh, and it was also a trip, so you could do some setups too. Um, that All boy right. got a slap. He is Duh. slapping. My the boys, shit out of you. my boys, pimp hand is strong. Right. <laughs> if you if you watch the uh, the Wario video, he he does dash attack to a slap to the face. Oh, that better be his new forward tilt. Oh my god, or a jab. It oh. looks like his tilt. It lo I'm watching it right yeah, now. Nah, that's that's, yeah, that's definitely his F tilt. That's slot. Nah, because because the thing tilt. is, if it's his F tilt, then it's worse. Because his F tilt, yeah, his F tilt, bro, his F tilt. I mean, we don't, know the kills. we don't know the applications of it. But yeah, this one might kill as well. Yeah, we don't that's... know the applications of it. Okay, if this slap kills, it's the best move in the game. Okay, okay. No, why are uh, it's the best? He's got a double slot. And why are Young Link and Toon Link not Echo Fighters? Because. I'm sure, I'm sure the, uh, I'm sure the remote bomb makes Link different enough from Toon Link. Or yeah. not Toon Link. Uh, I get that. Yeah. But why are Young Link? Why is either Young Link or Toon Link not an Echo Fighter of the other one? I mean, I think there's going to be Toon a change to Echo Fighter or Regular we Link in the first yet. place. Yeah. yeah. Both they're of them nothing have alike. Different... I mean, they're alike, obviously, in the moves they have, but they don't play the same. Yeah, like, their moves were different enough, and enough of them were different, where you have to look at, like, Dark Pit to Pit, where, like, literally two moves are, like, different. And, and they're, 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 they have the same run speed and everything. Toon Link was way faster than normal Link. And then Link yeah. had the, the boomerang with the tornado on it. And, and Young up, Link has the fire smashes, arrows. Their up smashes were different. Their down smashes were different. But they had different moves. Yeah. Uh, the other the other thing is that Dr. Mario stomps the yard now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that boy that boy out here from New York now. Welcome back like, to Clinic. <laughs> he out here... For... That down air is sick. I I was kind of surprised. I'm looking at all these different fighter pages. That Dr. Mario was not classified as an Echo Fighter. Yeah, uh, because the, the Ganon because stole. of the down air. Right? Yeah. I, it is because of the down air. I know, but it's it was just like just when that first happened. I I didn't know why that was the case because obviously yeah. Dr. Mario, Lucina, and um, Dark Pit were classified as clones with each other. In Smash Four, right? Said that, definitely. Well, of course, the, yeah, never said yeah, that. But of course, the other key difference with Doc is that his physics are drastically different to Mario's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he quite plays, a bit. Unimoth, yeah. same physics. Dark Pit, Pit, same physics. Yeah. Daisy also looks like she probably has the same physics as Peach as well. I, can, yeah. I can't believe Daisy's a thing. Not even gonna lie, like, right, like. Wasn't I'm expecting glad it. I was not expecting Daisy as a like whole another character. All right, sure. So while, I guess while we're on the topic of Daisy, because we didn't really talk about her, and we talked a little bit about Echo Fighters earlier, uh, how many more Echo Fighters do you think are going to be in the game? Because it seems weird if they're going to classify this whole separate thing and not do a bunch of them. Like, I feel like this is something we're probably going to get at least four of. Nah, maybe two more. Maybe I think we can get five. Like I said, I see, I see Shadow as one, even though I don't want it to be, but I see it as two one. More, two more puts me can. five, right? How many yeah. fighters are we at now? We're at 65. No, if you yeah. count the Echo Fighters, we're at 68. No, you count the Echo Fighters, but you don't count Pokemon Trainer as three different characters. Yes, you do. Yeah. What? You yeah. No, you count Pokemon Trainer as three character. different characters. You pick one character and you play three different characters. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. I know, but they're classified. The, each the Pokemon oh, Trainer on the website hey, is classified separately. Separately, oh though. <laughs> Uh, yeah, on the website, I, I just needed a number. It's 30, okay. It's 33 through 35. Listen. Yeah, it's still one Listen. character. Though. No, it's... Listen, with Pokemon Trainer and the Mii Fighters 
both counting as one each, there are 64. You don't. No, I'm looking on the website right now. Them all individually. The numbers. Why would you I'm looking be right now. One each. It doesn't make any people. sense. Quiet. Not as one. I'm I looking at the website. Be, Look at the website right now. Writers. Number there it 65 is. is is Ridley. He's the last one. 65 plus three Echo Fighters. So that's Daisy, Dark Pit, and Lucina. Oh, okay. and you didn't let me finish. If you're counting Pokemon Trainer and Me Fighters as one, there are 64. So add two for the Pokemon Trainers if you count them individually. 66. Add two for the Me Fighters. You count fucking them cares. Fighters. You don't count. It's the sixty-eight Mises individual fighters. <laughs> it's sixty-eight. There are two, 68. More, there are two more characters that no are coming because they made two spaces. Yeah. Which right. Give us a right. Launch roster of seventy, which I think is pretty realistic. I I think that those two extra slots are going to be a Pokemon and a third party. That's my guess. I think we're getting two more Echo Incineroar. Fighters, and that's it. Yeah, yeah. I think we're going to get like an, a, a nice even number of fighters. We're going to get like Shadow and Echo Fighter. Starter. We're getting a start to Pokemon from Gen Seven. You're getting Cinderella. Absolutely. Mm. They've put a starter Pokemon. Uh, haven't they put a starter Pokemon in basically every game? Like, well, I mean, we're going to get one. We're, we're getting, go we're getting Shadow. So we're right. getting Ken. What? We're getting oh, um, Incineroar for Lucario. I hope we get Akuma instead of Ken. If we get an Echo Fighter Incineroar for, Ryu. for Lucario. Why would yeah. we get Akuma? We didn't get a starter in Melee. Ken is every way, bro. Ken is way more popular than Akuma. Ken is also Ken also just kind of fits Ken the bill as like an yeah, echo. Yeah. 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 I kind of I know this is probably not very popular. I would like Miss Pac-Man. Throw Miss Pac-Man in there over Pac-Man. That'd be clean. Yeah. I was going to say cool. Proto Man, but we're then not I getting, getting Final Smash. We're not getting Sora. Be a skin, we're not, See, that's the reason I think Shadow is so likely to be an Echo Fighter is because they went to so many lengths to show us all the things that aren't going to be Echo Fighters. Right. Right. Like. They showed us Crystal, they showed us Waluigi, they showed us Lin, they showed us Proto Man and Base in Mega Man's Final Smash. Yeah, they, Shadow is sort of a standout right now. But I feel like Knuckles if Shadow's an Echo trophy. Fighter, I could maybe see them doing that as DLC. Like, I, I could see if there's going to be an Echo Fighter of a third-party character for that to come with DLC. But I also feel really strongly now, after talking to Zeph about it, that we're getting Octoling. Because they've been pushing the heck out of Octoling. Splatoon is massive in Japan. I don't think that's going to happen. I, do I don't know, think. man. I, I think, think it's very I think possible we're just because the Inkling, uh, everything surrounding them, uh, their stage, the assist trophy we got for them, like everything around Inkling is Splatoon 1 centric. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Splatoon 2 is the big new hotness. It just got a brand new expansion. It was at the Invitational. And at the Invitational, they revealed slash announced that they're not ending updates in July. They're continuing updates until December. Oh. So I wanna, Plus, they okay. just had the Octo expansion. I mean, there's like, there's a lot of stuff. And I feel like people were craving for Octo. Splatoon 2, though? Like, the Skull Mask, isn't that Splatoon 2? Or was that in 1 as well? The what? The so, oh, you mask. mean for the Splatoon characters? Yeah. For oh, the face, the face mask. Every costume the Inklings have is Splatoon 1 gear. Okay. I don't know, man. I feel like I think we're going to get Inklings. Every Especially if we, get a second, we're gonna get if we get a second. If we get a second. Well, if we get a second Splatoon stage, which we probably will, I think that would be their home stage. And then I could see them just adding the Octolings in there and having like different color schemes. So maybe like a crimson red and a pink and some other inks that aren't already in there. I don't know, man. Zeph sold me on it. I wasn't completely on board, and then Zeph was talking to me about it on Twitter, and I was like, this makes okay, sense. Okay, but Zeph's even, wrong about everything you said, so do you really want, I don't know. Do you really want to go even there? The what? Inkling... That's the complete opposite. Yeah. <laughs> You're lying. Zeph said the game's going to be called Super Smash Bros. because Armada got a Super Smash Bros. hat. I was like, bro, you what? Right? <laughs> you right. You right. I said that. I said, brother, the first game's called Super Smash Bros. They're not going to rename it the first game's name. I said that. I think down. Y'all both man, all you uh, damn Canadians. I'm looking at some of the other characters that are left. I would honestly be down for Funky Kong over uh, DK as one. Of I don't think that would work as an Echo Fighter because his proportions are so different. Mm. I say it would better for that would Dixie. change. Yeah, Dixie for Diddy would be better. Dixie for Diddy is way more likely. See, but uh, Dixie for Diddy, they... Dixie wouldn't have her like jumps if she was just an echo of diddy I mean, they could like they would also, have to put in like if, a propeller she'd be a totally different character also if they uh do dixie as a diddy echo fighter they'd have to keep in mind any tail attacks that diddy has because obviously dixie doesn't have a tail she has a right. hair yeah right, right. zap did say as well that the first switch switch game would be canton 
He's not wrong. No, I know. I agreed with him. What, about, uh, what if uh, what if Crom actually agree, was in the game as an Echo Foden? Mm-hmm. Crom? Yeah. As an echo of who? Of Marth again? We need to see if he's or, in right. we need to see if he's in Robin's final smash still. Because they didn't show that uh, different at all. Oh uh, I could maybe see them doing That's that though. Yeah, we haven't seen a bunch of stuff. We haven't seen every we haven't seen every final smash. We haven't seen a lot of things. Yeah. Even Inkling's final smash is a super that's not in Splatoon 2. Like, the Killer Whale is not a weapon in Splatoon 2. Their entire kit and everything around them, their stage is Splatoon 1, Squid Sisters assist trophy is Splatoon 1, everything around them is Splatoon 1. So I would not be surprised for Octolings. Oh, that's facts. What Puff said in the uh, chat, Diddy has a different job. He only does the gentleman now, I think. Yeah. He's not a job anymore. He's also got the the ledge attack in Splatoon 4 was the tail. He's confirmed, bitch. (laughs) <laughs> the, the, the ledge attack in smash 4 was also a tail attack so they'd have to change okay, that as well on. you ever think about that there's 10 pokemon oh, in this game now that, uh... so what no look at that slap <laughs> people love pokemon like, that many playable pokemon is they're all well, like, you why, why, why does that matter? Characters. Why does that We've matter? Got Mario, Luigi, oh. Peach, Daisy, Bowser. No, no, no. That doesn't even that matter. Up, no, no, no. I bring that up because everyone's like, there's way too many Fire Emblem characters. You look at Pokemon. Wait, there's like a ton. 10 Pokemon. Okay, well, no, Pokemon. Pokemon and Mario got plenty. Back the yeah. fuck up. Who said 10 Pokemon? How are you counting? There's nine. I maybe he was one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I missed one. Why are y'all so hostile, man? I thought I missed well, there, I, I feel like there will be 10. We're, we're going to get another Pokemon character. We're getting a new Pokemon. That'll be 10. You we'll eventually have 10. You are getting Incineroar. We're, no, we're going to get that the melee has added a starter Pokemon. Thing. Yeah, we're going to get Zeraora. Yeah, Zeraora. That's the one. We're getting that. I would much rather have Incineroar or Decidueye over Zeraora. That nah, would suck. Zeraora I would take Zeraora over. Well, we haven't even seen Zeraora. I think it'd be cool to get outside, of, like in the actual game and stuff. I'm actually completely joking. We're not going to get that new of a Pokemon in this game. Sakurai, no, Sakurai is always working Incineroar. like two years behind. You got Incineroar. Oh, you, well, you was in that office when they was discussing the characters in the game, bro? No, but I know that two years ago Zeraora didn't exist. Yes, he did. Well, it did. It, it existed in the game code, it just didn't exist publicly. Oh, shit, we're getting Zeraora. <laughs> bro, yeah, what? One of those where it's like, <laughs> he's gonna be, uh, he's gonna be an Echo Fighter for Lucario. It was data mined on release, uh... so it's like... He was in the game, like you could gen him in right at the beginning. It's just that he's never been legal because there's been no official distribution. Look, man, he's gonna, we're gonna get a uh, center about to make his 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 final shine. It's now, time. here's what's gonna happen we got Lucina as an echo fighter for Marth, and she just doesn't have a tipper, and her stuff's just like slightly less powerful than tippers on the full range. We're gonna get Zera Aura, who's just gonna be like Max Aura Lucario, but then toned down slightly. All right. I, I can maybe see as a way of, uh, of sense. yeah, please no. As a way of appealing, <laughs> it make a tiny bit of sense, bro. Nah, as a way of appealing to the F Zero fan base, I'm looking right now at Captain Falcon, and I know we already have Ganondorf, who's kind of based on Captain Falcon, but I could potentially see a Captain Falcon Echo Fighter for Black Shadow. No, 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 no. It's a ga- no, we are ha- it's a Ganondorf, <laughs> Ganondorf Echo Fighter for Black Shadow that uses Ooh, his old smash attacks uh, on then... his old smash attacks for Black Shadow. Oh, and then Blood, okay. then Blood Falcon could be the echo for uh, Captain Falcon. No, has, well, Blood has Falcon's a, already confirmed as a Falcon costume. Uh, costume still. Yeah, uh, okay, Blood Falcon's mind. a costume. Yeah, yeah. I will say it's probably a soft rule for Echo Fighters to be from the same series. Yeah. Otherwise, we'd have Sammy nah. over Snake and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Did anyone say Gene for Bayonetta? I think I said that today, right? No. That's, that's no, but degrees. I think that's, that seems Doesn't like. Doesn't she a... still have that color or no? Yeah, she still no. has it. Yeah, Remember so... when they revealed Echo Fighters and then like two characters Jeez. later they showed Ronin during Bayonetta's Jeez. clip? Yeah, I thought he was playing. I don't know the... Everyone, everyone thought he was another Echo Fighter. <laughs> Roger has an Impa over Sheik theory, but Impa uses a sword. So I, I no, 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 Duncan. You should know this. You're the Zelda fan. You should know this. I have a very specific idea of what Impa we're going to get because they've been representing all of the other Zelda generations oh, okay. in this I, game. I, I'm worried. You no, 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 no. Because if you look, there's one stage that is not in the background of any of the Zelda characters' uh, pages that is in the game. We saw it a bunch of the trailers in that Skyloft. So what I think we're going to get is I think we're going to get the Skyward Sword Impa over oh, Sheik, yeah, yeah. which doesn't oh, have a sword. Yeah. The young version of Impa, like the, you Skyward know, the, Sword the... Impa. Skyward Sword Impa makes sense. No, yep. you, when we first discussed it, you were talking about Hyrule Warriors Impa. Like, 
years ago, like a year and a half. Oh yeah, a long, long time. Adam, yeah, yeah. I yeah, thought yeah. you were still talking. I thought you were still no. talking. No, if you're no, talking I think, Skyward I think Sword, Impa, Skyward Sword Impa over Sheik as an Echo Fighter. In fact, I would put money on that being one of the Echo Fighters in the game. Air I feel Bug really strongly about that. Dog. I want. Air I would Bug. make. I would make a stake bet right now that we're gonna get uh, Skyward Sword Impa as an Echo Fighter for Sheik, and I think it will be in the base game. That's my we, stake bet right now. In the base game, are we betting in the again? base is... game? In the base game. All right, game. I'll take that bet. All because right. I went either right. way. I either get Let's another Zelda character or I get a free dinner. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Let's do it. This has almost awesome. been three hours. Holy oh, fuck. Oh, wait. Well, it's been a no, long uh, show. We had a lot of stuff to talk about. We didn't start till 9.30, so it's been Did like we mention something about Bowser? So when Bowser uses Tough Guy, well, this is general effects in the game that you, like, flash when you're getting hit by weak hits, lets you know you're still being hit. And when Bowser has Tough Guy, you see it a lot often. Yeah, and he's still moving through it. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. Yeah. Is there anything else in regards to any other characters? No, you guys want to wrap this one up because it's been on for a while. There's a ton of yeah. stuff we could still talk about, but we're going for it. Well, no, next but we're going to – obviously, there's stuff we could talk about, but, I mean, I want to save some stuff for next week. You right. guys you guys turn on the game for the first time. What character is the first character you pick? Ridley. No, no, no it's not. It's the you don't get the starting oh, eight. You get the starting eight. eight. Oh. I oh, you mean like Link. – I take Link. You get yeah, this. What is it? You get this. You get the sixty-four, right, Viron? How do you even? How do you yeah. even oh, Samus, unlock Samus. the characters, Samus, though? Did sure. they say? Yeah, we didn't. They, they, they said it's going to be more streamlined. They, apparently, yeah, all so, they said was that it's more streamlined, and you'll unlock them faster as you play. Yeah, and that you yeah. start with the sixty-four cast, if I recall correctly. Yeah. Did they, did uh -huh. they, so here's the thing. I don't think they explicitly stated you're starting with the sixty-four cast. They said you'll start with a roster possibly as small as the sixty-four cast. Oh. I have a They'll theory. They'll probably have some new character in there. I bet Inkling will be available. No, I have a theory. Every single person's going to start with a different eight characters. Yeah, right. That'd be pretty weird. weird. What? No, like, no crazy. way. You're just going to boot up the game, and you're going to have eight characters. and everyone Bro, if it's different. randomized, what Why if you open random? up the game, and you get, like, Ike, Lucas, Rosalina, Pac-Man, Greninja, We Fit Trainer, Wolf, and Pit? Like, oh, what? Well. <laughs> Then you don't get Mario wow. and Donkey Kong. You have to unlock you're not Mario. Gonna start, bro. You're not going to start. No way. Like Mario. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make absolutely like... not. Why do no you have way. to say that, honestly? You fucking upset me. All right, when I'm right. You guys, you guys <laughs> you're not are right. What makes you think you're right? What, what are you doing? No way you're right. No way. <laughs> Why would not you start either. with a random eight? Why would you not start with, with Mario and Link and, and the characters that are always there all the time? Right. The original eight. Yeah. December tenth. December tenth, the first Monday after this game comes out, you guys are all apologizing to me live. Nobody, bro, that doesn't even make sense. What are you even basing this crazy ass shit? If you're right about this, if you're right about this, I'll come to your house and apologize to you. Hey guys, I'm selling my copy of Smash Bros. Ultimate. His name is Lord Champ Seven, though. He's taking that off. It's got it's got Inkling. You're still on eBay because it has the characters that people want. Exactly. What the hell? But for the story, Ross, we have a dog. I got I got this game with Ridley and Cloud on the same. Ooh, <laughs> like, you start uh, I'll probably I mean from the from the original eight I'll probably do Samus or Pikachu first. Yeah, it might not That's be fine. eight from the entire roster, but I, I'm I'm saying it's going to be a randomized group. They, In fact, I'm pretty sure they explicitly showed the the sixty four yeah, roster. That's, yeah, that's, that's what I'm. I that's know. why I said that. But. They didn't say you're going to start with a 64 roster. They said you'll you you you. May, I'm pretty sure the exact wording was you may start with a roster as small as the original 64 version or like the okay. original eight. Characters. Oh my God! This man Warchamp is going but to my new details. Have you have no place experience. in our community. Why would man? everybody have a different experience doing? from the jump though? That's crazy. I don't think that's. I don't even. That doesn't even make sense in my mind. No. We'll see though. I, we'll see. Yeah. We okay, will change let's the name assume... to War Champ, uh, Lord Champ Seven, though, when we're done. <laughs> Lord Champ Seven. <laughs> Lord Champ seven. All right, let's assume mean? that you're starting with the 64 roster. What, who are you picking? Pikachu. Link. Mario. Link. Gotta start with Mario. Jigglypuff. He's Jigglypuff uh, was unlockable in the original 64, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, if we're including unlockables, then Ness. Yeah, but I don't think we are. I think it's... Yeah, I don't think we are either. No, we're not. We're not. I, wonder how I don't care. Play. I'm saying Jigglypuff. All right. I hope it's like Smash Bros. You, you just play the game. Actually, no, I'll probably play like Bowser. No, Bowser was uh, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong's good. Donkey Kong's the boy. You be nah, I better be, I better be able to unlock like two characters at a time. There's there are like five, like sixty six characters I got to unlock or whatever. 
or 60 characters around there. Yeah, I'm not looking like, to play for 12 million years just to unlock the first Yeah. Time. I'd have been better, fine if they'd been like... I bet no the first time I finish a match, I better unlock a character right there at the end. All right. I hope it's right. just like play play ten every 10 matches you get a character. That's way yeah. too much. That's still over 600 matches to unlock everything. Well, that's not that that's crazy. What was the what was the maximum amount of matches that the last character unlocks in Wii U 3DS? Wasn't like uh, not very many. It was like 120 or something. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't that much at all. Compared yeah, to like melee, where you had to do like 2,000 game and watch. I can look it up real quick. I hope they actually kind of bring back some of the classic ways to unlock wasn't some of these characters, though. Like with Mewtwo, you had to leave the game on for 20 hours. <laughs> Just leave your switch overnight, and then you come back and Mewtwo's unlocked. Mom, I swear to God, if you turn off my GameCube, I'm not gonna talk to you for the rest of the night. <laughs> That's it. And I don't want to see What's you in my stream. Um, <laughs> That's it. Yeah, you have no place in this community. Watch without playing the 2000 games. There was like another way to unlock him. Yeah, you had to beat classic mode or like all star mode with everyone else. <sighs> yeah. yeah. The like, game and watch was designed to always be the last character you would unlock. The Brawl yeah. Strat was setting it to stamina mode with lipstick uh, yep. turned on, and then you just fucking turbo button the A, the a button taped down. For the 3DS, it, the, it was 120 matches, and it was Jigglypuff as the final character for some freaky reason. And then for Wii U, it was Duck Hunt with 100 matches. All right. Okay. Cool. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right, right, so with that being said, you guys, we are going to wrap up the show. This was a long episode. Thanks for sticking with us. There is a lot more that we have to talk about in terms of stages and music and pick of the day. There's a lot of things that will be coming our way within the next week. So we'll have a lot to talk about next Monday. But until then, where can people find us? Let's go in Discord order. You can find me everywhere at Coastword. You can join my Discord at coastword.moe. And guys, remember to smash that like button. On what? On the YouTube video. I'm like, I'm like, I'm saying this in the future. Oh, so when the they video. get to the okay. end, yeah, they're gonna like the YouTube video. I was gonna do that, <laughs> but I messed up. Anyways. Good deal. Uh, you can find me everywhere at alternate twenty four. You can find me literally everywhere on Candy Deep. That's a clean name. It's Earth? Hey, you can find me at this nah, new house I just I moved into, it. right, Chofu? Hell no! <laughs> okay, you can find me on YouTube and Twitter at Big Dare. You gotta pay 60% of the rent. What? <laughs> you can find me everywhere at Rogers Base, R O G E R S B A S E. On YouTube, on Twitter, on Twitch, and on Instagram. Look, you're on my Twitch right now. Hit that follow button. Follow nah, me hit that on subscribe Twitter button. at Chofu. You know what I'm saying? I got a YouTube channel. Stuff's going on over there. I got a whole bunch of Smash Ultimate matches uploaded. I'm going to upload another one tomorrow. Go ahead and subscribe. You know what I'm if saying? you got Amazon Prime, you also have Twitch Prime. You can subscribe to Shofu for free, and he gets the full free amount from charge, you. Charge $4.99 but, for um, free, my boy. I use my I use my yeah, free Amazon. Um, free. I use my. Okay, free I don't Amazon know what Roger's Prime. trying to do, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut him off there. I so use I use it for H3 hey, podcast. Hey, Tito, where I use can it for H3 you, podcast. You can find me everywhere at Tito KMF. I will be. Uh, I'm excited. Mario Tennis coming out this week, so I'll be dominating the stream a lot. And you can catch me at CEO 2018 next week. I'll be rocking the mic for Smash Four, so really excited about that. Nice. You can dude. find me. You can find me in the same location as CEO next week. Also rocking the mic. It's gonna be a fun time. In the meantime, uh, I reside in the Twilight Zone, and you can't find me anywhere. What? Except at Japan Time, Team Japan Time. Cool. Nice. You All can right. find me at CEO 2018 next week with all these guys, but I won't be on the mic. Are you actually going? Yeah, I'm actually going to be. Got to play that actually. demo, my boy. I'm gonna play that demo. I'm gonna wait in line, line for line. twenty. No, I said when I'm gonna wait in line to feel that fuck. crisp seven frame input leg that they ported it over from Wii U. Hey, I kind of felt it when I was playing. I think <laughs> I'm so I'm so worried, dude. It's like I want to like this game. They might have GameCube controllers there. Game controller. Every everything in Wii U was seven frames. Every even the fucking 3DS was seven frames. They, we had they, machine controllers. How much you tell Sakurai about, about that shit? Everything. Yeah, that seems not... that seems very deliberate. If everything had exactly seven yes, frames, yes, they probably made everything try to match the slowest controller for a consistent oh, experience for all people. 
So I'm hoping it's better this time. Uh, yeah, I'll be at CEO. You can find me everywhere online at Warchamp7. If you're looking for uh, any or most of us, you can find all of our stuff on teamjapantime.cool slash team. Uh, most of us have pages over there with links to like all our social media channels, Twitch, YouTube, whatever. Roger's base has a link to his Facebook because why the fuck not? I have a link to my Facebook on there? Yeah. Oh. You can remove that. I don't even use Facebook. You what the heck? Hey, hold on. You don't know about Facebook gaming? <laughs> oh, true. Hey, yo, 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 I'm going to get that nice face. I'm going to get that Zuckerberg salary, my guy. Yo, <laughs> real talk. Zuckerberg salary. Real yeah, talk, yeah. No, no, no. Real talk. Facebook is really shooting themselves in the foot with their streaming thing because they actually have a requirement in their like streaming platform in terms of acceptance or whatever. You can't multi-stream to Facebook and anywhere else. Like, if you're going to stream to Facebook, you can only yeah, stream to Facebook. Twitch, yeah, no, but Twitch no, says no, that too, and I still no, stream on YouTube. Twitch, so it's the, Twitch makes you people to try out partner. Facebook gaming streaming, but you don't have to exclusively stream on Facebook. You can stream anywhere. Yeah. If if you're an early partner, you have an agreement that you only stream on Twitch. But like, there's services like Restream where you can basically stream to Restream, and you can push your stream out to like Twitch and YouTube. Well, and yeah, Mixer yeah. That, the fuck that, you, you, you can't oh, do it on Twitch oh, either. Oh. Facebook yeah, but it's in, yeah. it's in your Twitch partnership. Can we, can't do can we just, so let's just, let's just, partners, just anyway, we're done. That's, the, that's the end of the episode. Yay. Where's Ricky? Man, uh, where us. is he? Bro, you got to go find I don't, him. I, don't, I, don't, you know, I okay. honestly have no idea. It's I, been I, months. I <laughs> it's honestly, been months. Honestly, honestly, a little Listen, bit behind the scenes stuff. We haven't heard I of Ricky since March. That we, I truly believe that we specifically were going to hear from him during this episode. I thought he was going to wait to make his grand return during this episode it didn't happen so i honestly have no idea where he is Listen, i have no idea me you know and justin like... tried to find him we texted him he wasn't responding we know he's liking tweets on twitter as of three days ago but he hasn't tweeted anything the last thing he did was he liked one of shofu's videos it's it's been months i have no idea where he is i hope he's alive i really do okay but uh, otherwise i don't know where he is have you ever heard the whole six degrees of kevin bacon thing where everyone's like six people away from knowing Kevin Bacon. Like, okay. you know a person who knows a person who knows a person. Who knows. You're the first degree of Ricky Cocaine, Roger. I know. I don't you know the, where he is. You are the most direct line we have. I know. You have no info. You have to I have his them, personal bro. number. Not his burner number. Not the number he gives to the Colombian drug lords. I have his actual number. And I don't know where he is. So. I do. Okay, you brought it up, so I do have a question. That was Ricky liking tweets, because I know you have access to that account. That was, yes. No, I haven't, I haven't got, in fact, I don't even have the password. Where for that is he? I don't know. I have not had the password for his account in, I think, like six months. So, literally since before we started. So, I don't know where he is. Man. I know. That's crazy, man. All right. I well, can't good believe night, he just everybody. disappeared like that. I know. He, he went off somewhere. He didn't even know. say anything. I know, man. Call his dad or something. Where don't does he live? Call his dad. Dad. (laughs) I I tried calling his brother. His brother didn't know. Call call his brother didn't know. Didn't know. What the fuck? Where does he live? live? Okay, to be fair, Shofu, you're going. Oh, his brother didn't know, dude. You moved back to California and Beatdown didn't know. So that's (laughs) because I didn't tell him. (laughs) That's that's literally true. I didn't tell anybody. Bro, well, that's probably what. And I lived across the country. That's not the same at all. I, I lived know, across man. the country from my brother. Of course he's not going to know where the fuck Someone I am. Someone needs to inform Mr. Cocaine. Yeah, I'll call his dad. I'll Doesn't call his he dad. live in the same house as his dad and his brother and shit? I don't know, man. I don't know. That's crazy. That is wild. I know. We need to find him, bro. I'm tired of we this. Do. We do. We do. At least, he, at bare minimum, he, he owes us an explanation as to where he's been. Oh, absolutely. I don't, if, absolutely. He can't, if he can't do the show anymore, that's fine. But, like, where the fuck has he been? I don't know. That way. 